Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Hey guys, sorry that went by really fast. Woo, right? Yeah, not enough hours in the day, I always say it. <laughs> no, right? Thanks for coming back, you guys. Appreciate it. Let's have some fun with this. Hey, Misha. Let's see who's here. I just got a registration. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let me pop up my... Uh... John Jones, Janine. Hello, honey. Hello, kitty. Harley, kitty. Cody, man. Bobby, Texas Val. Working on my diamond painting and looking forward to watching this auction. Thanks, Texas Val. The rehomer is here. Oh, tacos and donuts spoiled. Hmm. Jacob Fufu. Good morning, Christine. Hello, sweetheart. Thanks for being here. And there's Jen. Hello, Jen. Thank you, honey. Donna, thanks for always coming back. And Tammy and Betty. I just ate a bagel really quick. Cindy. Courtney, hello, Courtney. You guys, you are. Uh, so what time is it? Twelve o'clock. The, the Tim Heck deadline. I think that's what you said. Yes. Yeah, twelve o'clock. You guys, if you haven't gone over and made a comment on Heck Treasures, you've got twenty minutes. You guys can go on over there. Talbert's mom, thank you, sweetheart, for being here. Hello. Hello, hello. Good morning again. No, Terry, that's because we're on Donna's channel now. She'll get you wrenched up as soon as we're finished welcoming everybody on. No worries. Yeah, I will. James, hi, honey. Thank you for being here. Simply Dana. Hello, sweetheart. Let's see. This one works perfectly, in my opinion. Watch Monday and let me know what you think. Tell us, Mom, I don't think I need anything different. I'm holding jewelry in front of you. Okay. Jam's Wagon, hello, thank you, thank you. And, 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 Cody, hello, and Tammy, and Cindy Raymond. Oops, Tammy, it jumped. Where's Cindy? Where's my Cindy? There she is, hello. Um, Jonathan, hello, sweetheart. Thank you for being here. And Jules, thanks, honey. Thank you for coming in. Terry, hello. Welcome, welcome. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Gina, thanks for coming back. Thanks for coming back. It's going to be a very relaxed, laid back, chit chat amongst each other. We love that you're here. Hey, Joey Bada Bing is in the house. How's everyone doing? We're good. Hey, Joe. And there's buying space. Hello. Hey, Mimi resells. Hey, Denise. My first day being regular at work, I bought donuts and basil bagels and drinks. Oh, don't get them too used to that, <laughs> Brooklyn, hello. Welcome. They'll expect it every time. <laughs> Junk and data girl. Always can count on Cha Cha to be here also. Thank you, Stacy. You guys are great. You guys are great. Great, great, great. Mary Pelletier, hello, sweetheart. Thank you for being here. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Thanks for joining us this morning for the morning show. And this was a pop-up quick little auction, but maybe long little auction. I don't know. We'll see. I know T has an appointment at what time? Three? Three. Three Eastern. But I don't know if we'll still be on for that or if we'll go off. We'll see how it goes. Usually, like, an hour goes into two hours and two hours goes into three hours, right? You just, it goes by so fast, especially since we're just kind of hanging out. And maybe Robin will join us when she wakes up. She was out tramping around all night. Oh, that what? explains it. No, I don't know if she was. I'm just assuming she was because she's not here. So, Michelle, hi, honey. And Nancy just came in. 50 of you already in the chat. Thank you. And there's Pam. Do you guys ever sleep? I know it, right? Holy cow. We are on here all the time. 
Yeah, we we uh, we bounce back and forth. Oops, I lost my. I need to pull up my uh, YouTube chat. I lost my YouTube chat. Don't know why. Maybe right, I didn't. Let me drop the registration link. Let me drop some links. Okay. Awesome. All right. First link I'm gonna drop because she deserves it is Bolo Buddies. Because you can't click the three dots next to anybody's name. I'll try to drop as many links as possible. But if you don't have Courtney, please pick up Courtney Bola Buddy. I just dropped her channel. She's Thank such a great support to the channel and she has an awesome channel. Christine. Christine is so funny. I think when she sees me not smiling, she sends me like these funny little emojis to like make me smile. <laughs> I am so close to 5,000. Awesome. Courtney. All right. So make sure you get Courtney. Please make sure you get Courtney, guys. I picked up a whole bunch of subscribers to Courtney, and I probably have you to thank for that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know how many exactly, but... Yeah, Mimi says she's starting to think it's not a glitch. But the one thing I will say is... Usually when they change things, they make an announcement, they send it out, they tell us what's happening. That's the only reason why I still think it's a glitch. Make sure everybody's sending a message to them as well. Maybe they're not, maybe everybody's just assuming that, oh, they'll send a message and nobody's sending the message. <laughs> You guys, please subscribe to Courtney. Let's get her to 5,000. Let's get her to 5,000. Amy Joe, I love how supportive you all are of each other's channels. It warms my heart, which is the way it should be, Amy. It's Absolutely. the way it should be. You know, a lot of uh, channels are not like that. And look at this. Talk about support. Thank you, Jonathan. Money bags at it again. <laughs> You're so sweet, Jonathan. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all the love and support. I really You're do. not calling me that, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> this is corporate. And here you go. If there's anybody new in the chat. And Larry changed his name. Yes, a while ago. Where oh, have you did. Been? <laughs> Just noticing. If there's anybody new in the chat that needs to register, now would be a good time to do it. Um, yes, exactly. And Courtney is like the queen of that. She all she all her channel is about is supporting other channels and giving shout outs, which is awesome. That's her whole what she's all about. Which is really, really great. And if Rhonda's in the chat, make a comment so we can get you wrenched up. I got your registration. Um, were you able to send out a um, email to some people? I didn't get it. I didn't. I just shared it as much on Facebook as I could. I put it in all my groups and all the other groups that let us share. You had done, I saw you had done a couple of the groups. but Yes, I did. Yeah, I, I, that's the other thing. What, I, is that, what does that mean? Finish my laundry finally. I don't understand that. <laughs> some Wait, some people just, just pile it up for one day, unlike the rest of us that do daily I, loads of wash. <laughs> I don't get that. I don't understand what that sentence means. I've <laughs> never even heard of that. Me neither. That doesn't even exist in my vocabulary, that sentence. Are you kidding? Misha actually got a notification this morning. Yay. And um, what does Matt say? I feel like I live here. Is that bad? No, no. we love that you're here. No, we love that Thank you're here, Matthew. You. Keep coming. <laughs> Keep coming. Thank you so much. I do my laundry once a week. I do my laundry every day, like two loads a day, and I still have piles that need to go in there's always a load in the washer there's always a load in the dryer and there's always at least three baskets that need to be folded and put away oh. i remember one time nancy said to me she goes i need to do a load of wash but i don't it's, it's not full so i feel bad like running it without a full load i'm like 
I'll send some over. <laughs> Are you kidding? I have so much. Uh, yeah, you don't have enough clothes to do laundry every day. I really don't either. I, I, I tend to wear the same thing over and over, but I have kids and they're athletes. So the laundry in my house is like never, ever, ever ending. Good morning, everyone doing laundry now. <coughs> Welcome, Alta. It's just my husband and I, and we have what we refer to as laundry mountain, right? Oh, you have no idea if you had, um, Donna, you have competent teens at home now. I know, I know they, they help. They do help, but not as much as I would like them to help, to be perfectly honest with you. I live in an apartment, so I walk to a separate building to do it. I cannot wait to have a laundry room. Yeah, that would be really sad for me. And the roommate did my laundry a few times, and now I'm missing most of my clothes. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, no. Flipping flamingos, welcome. Welcome in, Bobby. I wait to do a bunch, too many clothes, etc. Ugh, yeah. That is the greatest thing about 50 plus senior apartment. We have washers and dryers in a closet in our apartments. It's so exciting. Oh, I just got the notification that we're live. So hopefully some people will start. I left my phone downstairs. Did you just get yours too? No, I don't even have my phone here. Yeah. Yep. Just got the notification. So we'll wait for a few more people to come in. I really appreciate everyone being here today with us and everyone that was with us last night and everyone that was with us this morning. You guys are the best. I really appreciate the love and support. Yep. 71 people just came in the house. Thanks you guys. Thank you guys. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you. So what is on everybody's schedule today besides doing laundry? Huh? I'm going to try to get some shipping out. And then, um, hey, Amy, Amy's back, but I'm back just a little bit. Well, we appreciate you being here for any length of time. And if you guys wouldn't mind going over and giving me a thumbs up, I'm at 26 thumbs up. Somebody already gave me a thumbs down. I wonder who that is. Mm, surprise, I haven't started surprise. the show yet. Um, if you guys could go over and take this time to give me a thumbs up, it really helps the algorithm. There's 75 of you in the chat and there's 30 thumbs up. Thank you so much. And all, as always, if you can leave a comment um, during the show, you can do it or after the show post because that really helps with the algorithm. You can go in and just leave a comment anytime. Um, all you have to do is just scroll down to the bottom and um, and it will leave a comment for you. And thanks you guys, we're up to 38, 77 watching. You guys are wonderful, I really appreciate it. Let's see, what's everybody's doing? I missed the Dibble Box last night, were they good? <laughs> they were good and I will make some more Dibble Boxes for tomorrow. Um, I didn't have a chance to make any more between last night and then the talk show this morning and just now, but maybe while he's showing, I'll throw together a quick dibble box. We'll see. All right. Yeah. If not tomorrow, three o'clock, Tracy's two. She said she fell asleep last night and missed the plush and whatever the darn dibble boxes are. <laughs> just sold the Nike shoes I got from you for $25. Yay, Pat. Way to go, Pat. I just got some great shoes out of the storage unit. You probably saw them in the video I did with my daughters. Um, I don't know where they are. They're, well, they're in the garage, but I haven't sorted those bags yet. I have I, a box of shoes if anybody wants to look at shoes. Yeah, I haven't had a chance, but I've got some great shoes in that lot. Um, I'll see if I can get those out. Um, for the auction. I know we asked you on coffee, guys, and I put some quick things together that you asked for. Anybody else want to see something particular? Homer says, yes, I love shoes. Wow. She sold that pair for $75. That was pretty quick. That was awesome. And someone sent me that, that 
plush lot I sold. Someone sent me a, um, I don't know. I don't have the person's. Um, and Pat says, yeah, doing great and super news from Duke. That's awesome. So happy. Shoe size 10 wide. Me too. <laughs> so you're not getting them. <laughs> These are storage unifines. <laughs> I was telling uh, T uh, that plush lot that I sold last night. I think I sold the plush lot for like $40, $45. I can't remember who bought it. But someone sent me a screenshot of the African American Raggedy Ann doll. I knew it was African American, rare, sold for fifty dollars, just wow. one piece in that lot, which is awesome. And Lucinda needs twin sheets. I don't have any new, um, new yeah. sheets. How long are you ladies going on today? I need to go to the post office. Go ahead, Matt. Go to the post office now. And then when when you come back, jump on. Go go take care of it. We'll be on for at least a couple of two, three hours. We'll be on. Yeah, we'll stay on till a little before three. If you know, if it's going good and Donna wants to stay on, that's fine. I give her permission. Thank you. Thank you for that. I really <laughs> appreciate it. I really I literally cannot walk at a lower leg amputation in january and i have to wait until i get my oh sorry oh, sorry cody sorry sorry first thing i'm doing when i can walk out of my room is go through her her crap pile of a room and get my clothes back tell her to go get your clothes back tell her you want your clothes back save the toys for me okay matt i will I will. I'll wait until you get back to show some toys. I have I have a huge box of toys. It's a mix of Legos. I really don't want to sort through it. It's got action figures. It's got Legos. It's got McDonald's toys. It's just a big mash of stuff. I might just bring it as like a mystery box of toys and <coughs> you guys go through it because it just takes too long to go through it. Um, ask Donna about Big Girl Panties book. I shipped that out already, the Big Girl Panties book, didn't I? I think someone got it in their lot. Yeah, Pat was, I thought Pat was supposed to get it, no? I think so. I hope she got it. Thanks, guys. I'll be back soon so I can get my new leg and learn to walk again. Awesome. Um, better to divide uh, maybe so more can have... A chance to buy yes 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 i sold it this morning oh she sold oh, it this you. morning she just got it oh my gosh that's awesome that's so bad. you can't ask for that kind of advertising that's awesome thank you pat so you'll have to go on Courtney's show, Bolo Buddies, this week. Make sure you save that number so she can... Yeah, that and the sneakers. That and the sneakers. I know. That's awesome. That makes me feel so good that they're, like, selling my stuff like that at such a rate. That makes me feel so good. That is so rewarding. I can't even tell you how rewarding that makes me feel. I know in the beginning you guys were like, oh, God, I better not tell her how much I got for the stuff. I am so grateful for all of you. Oh, I yeah. Remember how upset June was to tell you about the silver tea set? <laughs> it's the best mm -hmm. advertising we can get. So I never did get an answer from my friend there about how much that piece of jewelry was worth she found of mine. Oh, yeah. So, Courtney, I read a book during um, – during, uh, story time one night it was a book about big girl panties and uh it, i actually had pulled it from pat's lot i found it i just grabbed it because it said big girl panties on it and it turned out to be like a really funny really good book it was it's a kid's book but it had some underlying kind of like adult stuff well because of robin mostly yeah All right. I contributed a little bit too. And um, said, yes, I did see the book. <laughs> so she got it just this week and she listed it and she sold it. And she That's sold the pair of sneakers. She just said for $75 from one of the lots. Yeah. That's awesome. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two minutes left, and I didn't. I didn't listen and do the. the I didn't do the. Whatever I was supposed to do. What were you supposed to do? Go to Facebook and make a comment or whatever I was supposed to do. I don't understand. For Hex Treasures. Oh, uh, we'll go over now. You got time? I wonder about the value of your balls, T. Those were so nice. Oh, yeah, the coral balls that you sold. Those were beautiful. I wonder. I wonder how um how expensive they were yeah so 77 in the chat not bad for a saturday midday pretty cool man and um T's going over and making her little uh, comment. You guys, this is like your last chance to go over. There's like one minute left if you haven't done it. Someone dropped the link. I missed out. Tags you, T, so you can find it fast. Courtney, can you drop the link for Talbert's mom? Thank you, Courtney. Yes, thank you, Flippin' Flamingos. Thumbs up, everyone, please. I got 45 thumbs up, 77 in the chat. So somebody's not giving me a thumbs up. <clears throat> so, yeah, go over and do that. There it is, you guys. There's the link. What's that? Oh, 12 o'clock, the fire at firehouse. They do that every day at 12 o'clock? Yeah. I think, they, actually, I think it's only on Saturdays, believe it or not. The firehouse is right up the street here. Oh, look at this. Are you reading it? No, I'm over at Kex. What are what oh. are you it says, it's a New York City, New York City schools. Oops. New York City schools closed for the rest of the school year. Oh, we're not surprised that they were playing. I, I, even our schools here on Long Island, they're closed for the rest of the year. We know it already. They haven't made the formal announcement, but it will be. It will be. Don't be a bum and hit the thumbs up. Katap is in the house. Hello, Katap. Hey, Carrie. Um, that's the alarm giveaway closed. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right, right. Chata? No kidding, right? Wynette, thank you for joining. Thank yeah, you for being here. Schools are closed for the rest of the year. I guess that includes summer school too. I think they're trying to scatter and put as much online as they possibly can. I mean, even the colleges, my son and his girlfriend, even though they're at her mom's in Pennsylvania all this time, they're both doing their classes online. My daughter says it's a joke. Yeah, well, I haven't asked them how the college classes are going. But they, you know, they've done college classes online before, so. Well, my, my other daughter, Angelina, the blonde one, <clears throat> she's been doing online schooling um, the whole school year. Source from Paradise. Hello, sweetheart. Thanks for joining. She did online schooling all last year and all this year. And um, she's, you know, she doesn't think it's a joke. Her, her lessons are hard. She's very disciplined. But my other one that normally goes to the high school she said that the online schooling teachers, but they're not used to being online schooling teachers. Right. It's, it's a hard adapt, you know, like I they have to learn, you know, first of all, it's hard enough to keep control of a room, no matter who it is. I was a trainer for, you know, the bank for like five years in between my mortgage career. And I, you know, that's teaching adults and even to keep adults, I think sometimes they're harder to keep in check the older, because 
you know, the, the attention span and everything is just, the younger kids might find it more exciting and stuff like that, you know, but the older kids are just like, it's the same <clears> thing <throat> with adult learners. Adult learners are very tough, especially, you know, if they don't want to be there. You see what um, Nancy wrote? She's a second grade school teacher. How do you keep a second grader's attention on a computer right. and try to teach them from home? Or even a teenager for that matter. Yeah, you gotta find all the bells and whistles that you can have all the resources. If anybody wants to reach out to me, I don't know how much I can help with second grade, but the older, like the older things, there's so many things out there that you can kind of integrate and to make sure that they're paying attention, like throw some things in there. I, I it depends on what platform you're using too. I used a couple of different uh, learning platforms and you can add certain things um, to it. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan says his daughter's in college and she um, said it's easy for the most part. Um, I think that the college kids are really missing um, the lectures. You know, you can still watch the lectures online, but there's something about being in a lecture hall and being with the professor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. that my, my son, my son is, there was two classes he was always excited to go to. He loves his whole studies class and his whole studies teacher, you know. Yeah. Or whatever it's I, I call it soul studies it's probably like modern history or whatever it is but like that's, and that's another interesting subject right there what harley kitten is talking about because i have a good friend her name's laurie and she teaches kids with autism and adhd and she's a special needs teacher and she's also been for lack of better words commissioned to teach these children online it's hard enough in a classroom setting to teach these children with disabilities. Imagine these poor teachers that have to like teach them online. Like how are they even, then I don't know about, I don't know about other states, but here in Florida, the teacher's salaries are based on a portion of the teacher's salary, not the whole. They get a base salary, but they also get a portion of their salary is based on the kid's performance in the testing. They have all of these, um, what's it called? Um, um, Dana, maybe you can help me with this. They're called, um, there's a word for them. They do testing for the children. And depending how the children do on the testing, it's going to depend on the, the pay structure of the teacher. Right. And if they don't perform to where they're supposed to perform, then the teacher. Yeah, Flippin' Flamingo says the VAM score. Is that what it's called? I guess. I never heard of that. The VAM score. Yeah, maybe that's Something different for all states and things. You know? Oh, there it is. There it is. Standardized, standardized testing. testing. Yeah. That's what it's called. Stan yeah, assessments, standardized testing. Yeah, so I mean, probably to help keep the teachers in check, you know, to, to make sure that they're... Because like, I remember my third grade school teacher, Mrs. Rich, she was a 10-year and she had been teaching for years and years and she was like going to retire with like within a minute. And I remember that school year. I mean, all she did was walk around and eat bananas and like eat crackers and leave crumbs all over your desk. And she was just like, she was a, she was a mess. She was an absolute mess. She was grouchy. She was mean. She was old, but you know, it all depends on the person because Mrs. Abbott, who was the kindergarten teacher, uh, she had the tenure and she worked for the school for years and years. And she was the best teacher. Like everybody loved her and all the kids, they used to like whatever free period they got, they would go to Mrs. Abbott's, you know, kindergarten room to go say hi to Mrs. Abbott. And she was old. She was an old, old lady, but she was so kind and loving to like everybody, to the kids, to the people, but not Mrs. Rich. Mrs. Yeah. Rich was yeah, Glenn oh. says Glenn says you can be the best teacher. You can just have bad students. And it's true. You know, you can be the best teacher in the world, but they don't all behave. And and you know, that's gonna be true with the online stuff too. The parents who don't give to you know what, those are the kids that, you know, are the ones that are the troublemakers in school because they know they're not gonna get called out half the time. Oh, I know the kids are going stir crazy. That's why I took my kids out for a ride. They want to go out for another ride today. 
they loved being out absolutely loved just being out for the day don't get me started on seventh grade history teacher it was the history of tom cruise every day and i hate him i wish myself or someone else would have reported her i know but you know i don't know if they still do that tenure do they still do it oh tenure absolutely i got my son's first grade teacher fired for sending the kids out to play every hour and just reading books in the classroom sending home 10 worksheets each day i had just got fed up wow yep she was gonna retire in a minute yeah she was she was gonna retire in a minute um yeah let's see here um when i have a doctor's appointment she has to start picking things up for 30 minutes before there's a clear path oh she's talking about her roommate <clears throat> what state do you live in cody and county susan arrington hello hey, susan. sweetheart Best teacher, retired teacher. Retired. Sure. Unemployment will pay me for me to get certified only if in person class and they reimbursed me if I take online. Well, that might change. You know, Cha Cha, you should check because now that they're not doing any in person, maybe they'll change that rule. <laughs> Demucheville, did you see I sent out your mystery box yesterday? I hope you got the tracking information. Go live again with your girls if you go for a drive. I will, Amy Jo. I will. And Rachel sent them. I, I They don't know yet. They're probably still sleeping at 12 o'clock because, you know, they're on that schedule now where they can just stay up late. And Angelina got a new Xbox yesterday. So I'm sure she was up. Massimo hooked it all up. So I'm sure she was up. They all get together and play Xbox together. So I'm sure they were playing until the wee hours of the morning just like we play on youtube until we hours of the morning um but uh rachel sent them some fan mail which which uh they don't know about i well she sent it to me to give to them for easter but i'm gonna tell them that it's fan mail because i think that they're gonna love that and get really excited but angelina already said to me yesterday she goes mama can we do that again that was so much fun we'll go driving around and we'll go live again so I said, okay. I said, maybe to, maybe today. We'll see. Donna, when you go for a drive, no vodka allowed this time. <laughs> what are they talking about? I missed it. You had vodka in the car? So Angelina came out of the house and I'm like, go get your sister, go get your sister, go get your sister. And so she went in the house and Chezzy comes out of the house with a pair of broken sunglasses on with one lens missing, holding a Nerf gun and a bottle of vodka in the other hand. I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, here, I brought you something. And she hands me, my husband had just bought a bottle of vodka at Costco and it was sitting on the counter. Hi, Papa. Hi, handsome. It, had, it hadn't got put away yet. I don't know why she grabbed it. Oh my she's, gosh. She's crazy. Susan says I laugh so hard. That video was actually a lot longer. My daughter had to edit a lot of it out i know you haven't had a chance to watch it yet but it it was really funny my daughter had to edit a whole bunch of it out i was so, i was so scared going live with them because i'm like you guys i whatever you say i cannot take it back like we can't edit a live video like angelina the video went from like probably 35 40 minutes by the time she edited out all of the inappropriateness from oh the God. girls which you guys would probably think was really funny but i'm like nope edit that out nope edit that out you know <laughs> it went down to like 16 minutes by the time she edited out all the maybe this time i'll let her put it up without all of the without without editing all of the stuff <laughs> Susan says, I taught junior high school. Nothing surprises me from kids. Oh my gosh. Yes, and birds were trying to commit suicide. Two birds. Two birds. What are the chances? Flew straight to the car, one to the hood and one to the windshield. They saw it. Oh my, we were, God. oh my God, they're trying to commit suicide. What are the chances? Two birds like flying to the car. It was so weird. Yeah, that sounds weird. I know. You may want to consider the wrapping of the food as a potential hazard, though. 
you may want to consider the wrapping on the food as a potential hazard. Yeah. I know. The no finger licking. I was yelling at Angelina. You know, that's why takeout even scares me right now because you just don't know who's handling your food. Well, they say, I mean, whoever they are, but they're saying that Chick-fil-A is being like extra, extra, taking extra, extra precautionary measures. Um, the birds were after the vodka. I know. Forgot I can join with my phone laugh out loud done at the post office and at storage. Now that's a devoted friend right there. He did, he's got FOMO. Thank you, Matt Jones. He's got FOMO. <laughs> hey, the Crafty Hen House. How are you? Lady Elaine. Hello, Lady Elaine. We're going to have to meet. I love the ride along. You were at my Hobby Lobby. We're going to have to meet one of these. Is Hobby Lobby open by you? No, it was closed. There was oh. three cars in the parking lot. It may have been managers or something. I don't know. No, because it's not considered an essential business, but... I know that there was like some controversy going on. They were open in the beginning because I ran there one day and um, they, I saw something in the paper that somewhere like they, they were getting like summoned or something because summons or whatever, because they were staying open and they weren't supposed to. Really? This is kind of random. Had a spicy biscuit this morning. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Glenn. <laughs> That's kind of random. I'm I never I'm, had a spicy biscuit. Me neither. I'm I'm in the process of eating a everything bagel. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to eat oh, it. Oh, Susan yet. said all Hobby Lobby's closed. They fought because Michael's is still open. Well, what's the difference? Is Michael's still open? My John works at Babylene by the tracks when he is home from college. Where's Babylene? What is that? Valvoline? Oh it's like um, oil. Valvoline is oil. So is that a gas station by you? Well, it's not really by me. It's on North Lake Boulevard. It's down the street of ways. Oh, Nancy says Michael's by her is closed. Hmm. Oh, James says because they sell stuff that falls in the essentials category. Like what? Melting chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> What cooking material, yeah. artificial flowers. I mean, no, but melting chocolate would be food, and they do have candy. They do have candy, and they do have soda. So maybe they can get away with it because of those food items that they sell. They sell tissue. Color yeah, so tissue. Buying space rights. It's all about the emergency glitter. <laughs> 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 that is so funny. <laughs> that is very, very what by me is offering curbside delivery. People need their yarn essentials. <laughs> Mass making supplies. That's true, Sherlyn. Oh, interesting. That's very interesting. Well, then why can't Hobby Lobby say the same thing? They carry the same stuff. If we can't get our hair cut, we need flitter. I think she meant glitter. <laughs> yeah. That's but how. Then, then to me, haircut, see, like, that's essential for me. I need I need color that's essential for that me. That looks good. Look how long my hair is getting. <clears throat> all the idiots from Kansas City came here, so all of us locals stopped going to Hobby Lobby because of it. And do you have any elastic to sell? I do not. You know, Donna, Donna often says that about us New Yorkers, but I would be careful because we might have some Kansas City people in the chat that don't have a backbone like us New Yorkers. <laughs> Just saying. See, now look at the hospital near me is taking homemade masks for people coming into the hospital that are sick. So there was a, there was like a, attorney general, surgeon, doctor, government lady that came on one of the news stations yesterday and she couldn't stress enough how the homemade masks do not protect you like the medical grade masks do. But, you know, I mean, a little protection is better than no protection. I'm making the kids wear them <clears throat> if we go out. 
Um, <clears throat> I think they went after Hobby Lobby because the owner's wife says she had a dream from God and God was going to protect their employees from the, really, did you see that in the news? <clears throat> Joanne Fabric has curbside pickup. Interesting. So you need to know very specifically um, what you want or you order it online maybe? I and guess, then... yeah. Yeah, I mean, June says the masks protect others, not the ones wearing them. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm going to... said that from the beginning. They, they <laughs> have always said... That if you're not infected, the mask does nothing for you. It's the person who's infected that them wearing the mask protects you. But unfortunately, because you don't know sometimes if you are infected or not, that's why. Yeah, see, Nance P says, I'm not an idiot. I'm from Kansas City. That's right, Nance P. You tell her. <laughs> well, I'm kind of saying the same thing about New Yorkers coming to... Um... Yeah, but see, we can take it. We have a backbone. Guess what time it is. All right. Who in the chat had just registered or needs a wrench or a number? Anyone need a wrench or a number? I, um, I haven't checked my, my emails yet this morning, honey. I, I got up, came on with tea, and then... Um, <clears throat> I saw that flipping flamingos. I have no problem wearing a mask. I've been wearing a mask when I've gone out during the day just because I feel like now everybody's wearing that them that if I'm not wearing one they're going to be like oh look at this idiot <laughs> okay Michael Whalen says I don't have a number Michael Whalen might be right I think Michael Whalen probably registered too far along that we don't have let do me wanna, just do you want to see what the giveaway is you guys could we give Michael Whalen oh and you got to give Terry Sellers a wrench and Terry is 322 if he doesn't know that. And Three, let's give Michael Whalen 330, uh, 323. 323, Michael Whalen. I need a wrench and a number. Did you register, Nance P? Do, do we have a registration from you? I probably have to go over to my great find for you email. I don't know. I'll have to look real quick. Okay, this is what I'm giving away. 97 people on the chat, you guys. Thank you so much. This is compliments of my friend June. She sent some for my family, and then she sent some for me to auction off. Look at that. June made these. Look at how awesome. And they, have, they have a wire here so that you can position it on your nose. So one lucky winner is going to get this beautiful homemade mask from compliments from June. Do you want to wrench Nance P and give her a number first? Yes, we do have a registration from okay. her. What is it? I said, we do have a registration. No, no. What's her number? Um, I'm just double checking and make sure we didn't give her one way back when. So just bear with me two minutes. And Creative Laurie, too, you need to check on. Okay. 101 people in the chat, you guys. Thank you so much for coming out this afternoon. No, let's give her uh, 324, Nance P. Nance P gets 324. 324, if you can remember that number, it's great. If not, we both have it. Um, June says there's a pocket in the back for a filter as well. No, she told me that when she sent them to me. She said there's a pocket in the back for a filter. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. There's the pocket. So you can put a filter in there so it gives even more protection. June, you're awesome. Thank you for doing this for me. This is really, really great. And I'm so happy that I can be able to share this with the viewers. You guys are awesome. Everybody think June. And I, I have I have several more too that we can um that we can give away. Okay, who's the next number? Um I don't know. Becky's in the chat saying she didn't get a number, but Becky, did you register? 
Let's see. I have to give Nance P a wrench okay. registered. <clears throat> Bear with us, you guys. This is going to just be a casual auction today. Just kind of just a place to hang out while you guys are working and doing what you're doing. Keep you guys, keep everybody company. And you want to see if you have a registration from her? Because I don't see one. Becky, can you just send another one? Just drop the link. If she's not wrenched, she doesn't have a number or a registration because we would have. <clears throat> yeah, I don't have a registration. Becky, did you register under a different, like this might be a different YouTube or a different thing. Do you have a YouTube name that's different? Because I don't have anything from you, honey. Um, and while we're waiting, just a reminder, you guys go over and hit the thumbs up. Did you up say please. Creative Lori? Creative Lori wants a, um, I, a number. I don't know why I think she has one already, but let me double check. No, I emailed Donna, Becky said. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have it. When did you email me? That's why you have to email me. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. Just saying. It's true. I admit to that. Let me see. I'll look really quick. All right. We'll give Creative Glory 325. I don't see it. Yes, I have it. I have it right here. All right. So she's 326 then? Yep. Okay, wait a minute. So wait a minute. Give Creative Lori what? 325. And Becky Calvin 326. And I'll send you Becky's information in one second. And was I hearing things or did I hear you say hi to Alta Olden? Did you I say hi to Alta? Is no. Alta here? No? Okay. I don't think so. Okay. I thought when you were welcoming people on, you said hi to her. Okay. I just sent you Becky's registration. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Becky, I'll rent you. Yeah. Alta Alton, if you're in the chat, would you make a comment, please? Okay, yes. Alta, I found out today you do not have a number. I have your registration, but you don't have a number. So let's give her 327. Okay, so um, June, I'm going to talk to you about that. I'm going to talk to you about that. I'll call you after the show and we'll discuss it. Something good is in the horizon, you guys. Something really good. But I'll talk to you after the show about it and then I'll make an announcement. Deborah Smith, if you are wrenched, let's see, look up Deborah Smith. Make sure that she has. Deborah Smith is a new registrant. She definitely has to have a number. Bree. Hi, honey. Welcome, sweetheart. Deborah, you're 251, honey. Can you check and see if Bree has one? Um, she I has. know she doesn't. Because I don't should... have her registration stuff. Oh, that's okay. She's she's one of my neighbors, so we don't need we, we if she does ever end up buying something, I'll get her address. I'll have her text it to me. But let's give her a number. All right, so she's 328. 328. Three, your number is 328. Three is a good old friend. Ronnie G's in the house. Hey, Ronnie G. Hey, Ronnie. Thank you, guys. Of course, Bree. Of course, honey. Of course. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. We're going to do a giveaway. The giveaway is this awesome mask. Compliments of June 
has a wire on the top and a pocket for your for a filter. It's really pretty. I love the fabric. It's awesome. And I just want to thank June so much. And this elastic is so comfortable the way she does it on the ears. It's beautiful. Talbert's mom's like, pick me, pick me, pick me. All right, you guys, here we go. Oh, God, U.S. surpasses Italy to lead the world in. That just came up. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Since since Robin's not here, dun 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 dun. dun. Susan Hannon. She's not here. Unless she's lurking in the background and doesn't want to say hello. Looks like Vera Bradley. I know, right, Michael? Okay, here we go. Thank you, Betty Webb. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Cheryl Willow again. Willow, are you in the house? I haven't seen Willow in a yeah, few actually, days. Actually, Cheryl, yeah, Cheryl hasn't been here in a couple of days. I hope she's okay. Who is she? Hey, <laughs> Joe, welcome. This is what I'm giving away. These are compliments. This one is compliments of June, and she sent me some to do giveaways with. So compliments of June. Handmade. Hey, hey Dawn. Two hip chicks. Hey, Dawn. Thanks for coming in, you guys. 109 now in the chat. You guys are wonderful. Okay, let's see who this is. Terry Zellers. She he just registered. He just I know. registered. Terry, you just, you're here. You just wrenched him. Terry. Terry, make a comment. Make, make sure still you're still here. here. <laughs> you get the mask. Do, 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 do. Terry, Terry, Terry. I know. I haven't seen Willow in a while, too. Dig, 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 Donna. Oh, Terry. Hey, Terry. oh you didn't even wrench him. <laughs> you didn't even wrench him. All right, Terry. Awesome. Yay. You sure you have Terry's information? Yeah, positive. Okay. Hey, All Chris right. the Goose. Hi, honey. Chris the Goose. You want to come in, buddy? Terry Zeller says, uh, yay. yay. First, this is the second happy. time now we've had like a first, the same day registration person win. How awesome is that? I know, right? Good for you, Terry. All right. I will send this out to you ASAP. And that's going to go in my outgoing. And big thank you to June. Huge thank you to June. I'll do more. I'll do another one. I have several here that I can do. And I will definitely do more. Yay. Awesome, awesome. Okay. So, see my above note about Willow. Willow's having trouble back pain and her laptop quit working so she can only be at her desktop. Um, oops, it jumped for brief times. Oh, okay. Um, make sure that you send her our love. Ooh, 111 in the chat. Hi, Denali. And uh, good morning from Colorado. Good morning, Gail. Thank you for being here. Just listening while shipping. Okay, Chris, thank you. You know you're always welcome. You finally gave me a number and I won that day. Chris, the Goose survival kit, which made five old ladies in the apartment building very happy. Um, hold on one second. Let me just respond to this. <laughs> Jonathan, my old number is glued to the bottom of the bag. That's not true. Okay. T, can I get a new number so I can win too, Bobby? 
<laughs> mine too. Mine too. So is mine. I know they're in there. You guys, I always say T and I are in there too. And we've never been, yeah, I've never been picked. And I would have, I, you know, most of the time I'll probably re-gift it, but not if it was the masks. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I would have taken them. It's rigged, Betty Webb. Betty Webb, you won. So it's not rigged. It's definitely not rigged. It's definitely not rigged. Okay. What do you think? Should we do an auction? Why not? All right. Let's do an auction. I don't know if I said hi to Broken Arrow. Hello, Broken Arrow. Thank you for being here with us. You guys are great. 116 in the chat. Donna, your number has been picked. Oh, yes, I, think I, want, I, I want something from you, right? Yes. But did I re-gift it? Yes. Well, I, I we're going to re-gift it at some point. It's still sitting I on forgot, my shelf. I forgot about that. Yep. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm going to go get something unless you have something right there that you can do. Sure. Um, loves YouTube. Chris, I got your invoice and paid it. Hi, Mimi Resell. Susie Woozy. It's up to you if you want to register. Hello. Thank you for joining. And T, drop the link if she wants to register. Get an auction number in case you want to bid on something. I run from the auctions for you and it's it is stuck at the post office. I will pick it up after lockdown. Oh, Courtney, that stinks, Courtney. You better find out how long they'll hold it for. I hope they don't return it to sender after a certain amount of time. Right? That could be possible. Hey, Sylvia. I don't know how long the post office holds stuff. She's saying they hold it. They hold it? That's what she says. They know to hold it. Did I ever tell you about the story? I don't think I ever did. I sold, you remember those beautiful Christmas trees that I had out, the ceramic ones for Christmas time? Yeah. Okay, I had the big one and then the smaller one. And um, actually, I've got two that belong to April Morse that I have to, I keep forgetting to ship those out. Um, but, so I sold one. It was a hundred dollars. I sold one on eBay. It was a hundred dollars and it cost me like $35 to ship out. I packed it, shipped it, sent it out. The person never picked it up from the post office and it got sent back, returned. So she paid me for it. Okay. Sent back, returned to sender. And my postman says, you have a box down at the post office. It's really big. Um, it's returned to sender. I was going to bring it today. He goes, but do you want it? I'm like a box really big. What do you mean? Do I want it? Of course I want it. What are you talking about? He goes, it's from like Oklahoma or something. Right. So he says, there's a note on it that says it was never picked up at the post office. So I went into my eBay and I looked to see, and it was, it was that, Christmas tree. It, the woman never picked it up from the post office. So I emailed her and I said, the Christmas tree was returned back to me. What would you like me to do? Do you want me to reship it? Was the address wrong? Please advise me, you know, as to what I should do. Never heard back. I had the same issue with something else. I mean, not something that big, but a briefcase. Sent another email never heard back again. So then the next day I said to the postman, I said, you know what? At this point, like, I know I packed it well, but this thing went to like Oklahoma and then back. I'm like, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, I just was like, just leave it at the post office. Like I don't own it anymore. Like I don't want to claim it. This person is not responding to my emails. Like what would you have done in something like that? I didn't want to claim it because I didn't own it anymore. And, you know, it was, it was returned back to me because the, because the customer never picked it up. Right. So to me, I was like, let it be on the post office's shoulders. Like, I don't want her to come back to me like months later and be like, well, you got it back and you owe me a refund. Like I fulfilled my commitment. 
like when you ship something and it says it's arrived and the customer didn't pick it up, that's on them, right? Like, I don't want to get involved in that. I'm, I got my money, sent the merchandise out. So I just let it go. It was a beautiful trade. I was kind of mad that it sold for so little because it probably should have sold for more, but I took a best offer on it and I let it go. Susan says I would have got it back and held it. I hold returned items for a few months. eBay would side with the buyer, no delivery, right? I just didn't want to have anything to do with it. Like I fulfilled my part of it. I think until the buyer takes possession, it is still yours. I would pick it up. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get it back and then relist it, get it back, refund the money and resell it. I tried sending her so many emails. What am I going to do? Send the money to an account to someone who's not like even, maybe she died. That's what I was thinking. She may have passed away and that's why it was never picked up. Agree with Bolo, get Get it back, refund money, and resell it. You know what? It was such a, it was so, if it was like a pair of pants, you guys, or if it was like, I was afraid it was going to come back. What if, it, what if I got it back and it was broken? That's what I was thinking. What if it broke? And then I would have had to have put a claim into the post office. And I mean, if it was like a piece of jewelry for a hundred dollars or a pair of pants or something like that, that would have been that, that would have been much easier but to like to it was huge it was a huge enormous box so huge and heavy that the, even the postman was like what do you want me to do with this like do you want me to bring it to you tomorrow this was on her ebay store texas val not not one of you guys do you think you know the person <laughs> i'm just curious oh you. no 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 texas val it was no it was it was my ebay store The only thing the post office will do is put it in the dead letter office and eventually throw it away. No delivery confirmation, auto refund. It Well, it was not picked up. It was delivered, but not picked up. It was delivered to the address she was told to deliver it to. But not picked up at the post office. Yeah, no, it wasn't at auction, Texas Val. It wasn't. Oh, no, 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 no. I think she means Kim. We would know that. We would absolutely know that. New, no, you, you, United States Postal Service auctions those item, those items later. I don't know what that means. Okay, I'm going to put you on the screen. All right. All right, T's gonna start. We have 118 people in the chat. Guys. Thank you so much for midday auction. And half that number have sent uh, a thumbs up. Please go over and give me a thumbs up. I thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up. I appreciate it. All right, John Jones is in the house. I would stop con contacting that buyer. Let it go unless they make an issue out of it. Yeah, it was it was it was two years ago. Literally two years ago. They have auctions for items that are unclaimed. I wonder where those auctions are. Hey, Brad Boy. We recently got a new postwoman. She never brings the package to the house, always leaves the cart in the mailbox. This is the first time I've ever had this issue. Hey, Joy Munkin. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Oh, Susie, Susie, Susie said she sent her information, so let's check that out. Oh, it's in Georgia? where they do the auctions and there's one in South Carolina that does lost mail auctions. Okay. Susie Woozy, we got your registration. Let's give her a number and get her a wrench. Okay. 329. 329. Yeah. Yeah. Joy. It was very last minute, honey. We decided during coffee this morning that we would go on for a little while today because we kind of ended the auction early last night. <laughs> look at Joey. If you have a mail issue, talk to me. I'm a mailman. <laughs> like, we're going to help everybody, Joey. Do not put yourself in. You have a lot to learn, Joe. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Joey will be like call, calling in. I can't deliver the mail today because I'm tracking Joy Munkin's package. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. That's really funny. All right, everybody. Oh, I need to give Susie Woozy a wrench. Right. And last chance. Anybody else want to want to sign up? Get an auction number to bid. And we are off. And T is up first. And there you go. All right. All right. Let's do this lot of albums. Somebody asked me for Elvis. I put a couple of Elvis in here. God knows I probably have more at the storage unit. But I put in what I could put in. So it starts with Elvis's Christmas album. Oh, my God. He's beautiful. I know, right? Mmm. -hmm. And then we have the special gold album, a Canadian tribute. Mama, uh, girl, Mama girl says, may I have a number, but she's wrenched. So I'm thinking that she has a number, Mama girl. Mama girl. Yes. Do you want me to look really fast? Well, we're not doing another drawing, but she is wrenched. So she can still. Jonathan Roseberry, honest to goodness, pal, you are amazing. Thank you so much for the super chat, sweetheart. I really, really, really appreciate you. Thank you. I'll double check too after I see this album. But, um, oh, everybody knows what I start my albums. Oh, well, fat, I only showed two Elvis. Thank you, guys. Right? <laughs> You're already at $40 with Here's the, the third album. Elvis. <laughs> They're not all Elvis, so don't, you know. <laughs> I only had four Elvis, so <laughs> Elvis Golden Records. And then we have Ellen Foley, Night Out. We have Change, Change of Heart. We have Lynn Anderson, Not a, No Love at All. We have The Young Tradition. I'm not even sure what kind of music this is, to be honest with you. I just thought the cover was really cool. Cool cover. We have Music, Martinis, and Memories. I've actually sold this album four times online. Swear to God. The Music Man. This one's sealed. Sonny James. Sealed. Sealed, sealed. Placido Domingo with John Denver. That's an interesting combination. Is this one sealed too? No. You got Cindy Raymond in at $44. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you. And then we have the Beach Boys, Endless Summer. And we have the Spinners. It's a shame. All right. Connie. <laughs> Connie. Oh, I'm feeling guilty now. The spinners. Why is she saying dang it to you? Because she didn't want to bid. <laughs> uh, the Beach Boys. Placido Domingo, John Denver, The Sealed, Sonny James. Yeah, I agree with you, Joy Monk, and he was beautiful until the end. And, you know, I was thinking about that when she was showing a share album the other day. Cindy's at 48. She stayed, like, Cher stayed classy through, like, her whole entire career. Like, she never got wrapped up with drugs and, like, messy divorces or, right. you know, all that. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I was thinking about that the other day, too, when after that album. After she divorced Sonny Bono, did she get remarried or she's never been remarried? No, she never got remarried. I don't think she ever got remarried, right? No, and her and Sonny's divorce was really great. I know. They still stayed so amicable. Mm -hmm. Cindy Raymond's at 55. Thank you, ladies. Jaden is in the house. Hello and welcome. Hey, Jaden. If you'd like to be wrenched and register for an auction, I don't know. Christine B., are you still in the chat? Oh, well, everyone's saying she married Greg Allman. Oh, my husband would know that. I didn't know that. Oh, oh, my, God. my husband's such a diehard Allman fan. Not that I don't like the Allman brothers, but wow. Maybe she did. Mm -hmm. She did marry Greg Allman. Did Greg Allman pass? I don't even know. 
Mm -hmm. Recently, maybe. Hey, Teresa. Yeah, he passed, right, Joy? Well, they weren't married for very long. Is that what it was? They have a son. Okay. Yeah, because she has a daughter with Sonny, but I think actually who's a son now. Gosh, I missed that whole part of my life. <laughs> yeah, Greg died in 2017. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Someone dropped the bid increments for the new people so they know. <laughs> okay, Joey. <laughs> All right, we're going to go once to Connie at 60. When she was dating the bagel boy, I was dating his roommate. That's cool. That's a fun fact. Who's, who was dating what bagel boy? Susie Woozy was dating the bagel boy. No, she was dating the roommate. Who was dating the bagel boy? Oh, yeah. Oh, Cher, I guess. I guess. That didn't come off me. <laughs> Going twice. <laughs> You're supposed to be welcoming, Joey. <laughs> All right. Last and final call for $60 to Connie Cheney. <laughs> Going once. Going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Connie for $60. Congratulations, Connie. Thank you. You want to do another one? Did you do what you had to do? Um, I really didn't have to do anything. You said, T, you want to show something while I go get You were going to get something, I thought. Oh, I think that was last night. I think you're dreaming. <laughs> oh, oh, and my dad was watching last night, and he said you were sleeping. I think he was watching Robin's video. <laughs> no way! No. He said to me, you, you were closing your eyes. You were sleeping. No way. I'm like, no, it wasn't. Oh, I don't know. All right. So if you don't need to go anywhere. <laughs> you want me to come on? Yeah. Okay. She's eating. Ronnie G. <laughs> I was eating. I was eating. Oh, my God. I didn't have time to eat my bagel. I was eating. 130 of you in the chat. Thank you so much, you guys. That's awesome. All right, here I come. Well, speaking of sleeping, that's where the sock is. Yeah. Oh, now you're referring to it as the sock also? Well, somebody asked, where's the sock? Okay, I'm going to do this. This is going to be one lot. This is going to be one lot of smalls. You guys, I have a lot of glassware and dishes that I don't usually bring to auction because, frankly, I hate packing glass. It's so time-consuming. Um, so here, here you go. So this is someone who, this would be easy for me to pack and ship. So this is for someone who likes to do smalls. Oh God. I'll tell you what, this is like almost transparent porcelain and the name is Austria. L S N S. And this one's kind of blurry. Let me see. Uh, Carlsbad. L-S-N-S Carlsbad is the name on it. And they are numbered 1220. 1220. And you can see it's a little dish. I'd like to start this at 25 shipped. This dish is three and a half inches. And you have three of them. So you can list these as individuals. That looks like four to me, but I'm just four. saying. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> we know you in counting, so I know after three it gets difficult. <laughs> you can list these as individuals. Um, people will buy them to complete a set for their own reselling purposes, if they're reselling, or to replace, you know, if they, if one is broken, or you can set sell the whole set. Um I do very well with these little, um, this was an item that I was going to list on eBay. They're all in perfect condition, no chips. So this would be a really great little thing. Um, I think those are butter, butter 
Hats. Yeah, probably. I would Hi, say. Hi, How are you, hon? Thanks for coming in. I would say so. They're really pretty. And then the next ones are this here, and I'll tell you what the name is. It is Barn, B A R O N E T, China, made in Bavaria. And that's E F C H E N B A C H. How he spelt that really fast, but this is the name on them. And in this collection, I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So six of these and these all, but let's see, two, no, only two of them have plate holders. Two of them have plate holders and two of them don't. So you get six of those and four of those. Connie noticed the peaches. Yes, they have peaches on them for sure. If anybody's interested, definitely a great opportunity to make your money back plus more um, to do smalls. Easy to ship inexpensive to ship if anybody's interested in that if not right pass and i'll move on 25 dollars shipped is the opening bid is what i'm looking for give my minute they might be looking them up pass from Jen. Okay. All right, you guys got it. Pass. All right. So how about if I add... Well, if I type pass in the chat, we're going to pass it, whether there's three or not, just to, so you guys get familiar with that, because if we decide not to show it, we're not going to show it. We'll bring it back at a later date. Sometimes we get somebody coming in with just the you know the the minimum bid. So Santa sold. Santa is sold. Santa was sold on Friday night. Yes. Okay. This next lot again. I have glass. Hi, Verano, Jojo. I'll drop the uh, link in the chat if you want to register for the auction. Um, these are made in Japan, and I'll show you. I have these, and then I have these, do not say made in Japan on them, but they are elephants with shamrocks on them. And then these are gonna be an easy sell because a lot of people love to set their table in white, white turkeys. These are all salt and pepper shakers. White turkeys. And these definitely are vintage. And what are they? They have the scene on them, but they're missing. Actually, it's in there, unless there's a diamond ring in there. I don't know. Um, and then the penguins. A lot of people. Cindy starts us out at 25. And the leaves. All salt and pepper shakers. So you get one, two, three, four, five. Stacy's at 27. Six. Six sets of salt and pepper shakers. Deborah Smith's at 30. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Becky. Yeah, where has Kevin been? He didn't come in for coffee, and now he's not here now? He'll come. What? He'll come. The Rehomer's at 32. Thank you. Cindy Raymond's at 35. Looking for 37 now, Becky. Do you guys want to see any more glass? I don't feel like when I bring glass out, or do you want me to add to this little glass lot? I have some other little glass dishes I can add to it. Do you want me to beef it up a little bit? I mean, I think those are kind of expensive as it is. Deborah says yes. Becky's at 37. Yes, glass. Yeah, you want to see glass? 
40 from Cindy. I have such beautiful glass, you guys. He's sleeping up late. Forty-two from the rehomer. Thank you so much. Matt's back. No signal at the storage. Becky says yes. Teacups. Oh gosh, I have so many teacups, but they're all wrapped. They're all wrapped. I have some nice Mikasa. Um, I have a whole bin of glass that I pulled in. I'll go see what's in it. Cindy's at 45. Yes, glass is buying space. Wow, I never knew so many people. I know, and I can't tell you how much glass I have. I Jeez. have 164 people in the chat. Awesome. Vaseline glass. Are you kidding? 164 people. That's crazy. Thank you so much. 168. Wow. Awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. I like daytime auctions. Well, it'd certainly help our sleeping patterns if we went to all daytime auctions, right? We could at least get good night's sleep, but it wouldn't do a hell of a good for our shipping practices. I know. That's the only thing. 47 from Stacy now. You're rocking it, ladies. Thank you so much. You guys are rocking it. Yeah. You, you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome for being here. Oh, Cindy, you're lagging, honey. I just looked up and I was like, holy cow. Nice. I've never had that many people in the chat. That's crazy. 50 now from Cindy. I used to get so excited when I had like 25. <laughs> Courtney, are you seeing how many people are in the chat? Isn't that awesome, sweetheart? Wow. Stacy, oh, thank you, thank you, Becky. You're so sweet. Wow, you guys really make me. I fell asleep during last night's auction. I'm going to take that as a compliment, Jill. I am. Because you know what that means? That to me tells me that it was relaxing and that she was able to like kick back and relax and fall asleep. So I'm going to take Jill's comment as a, as a compliment. I'm glad that you fell asleep. I'm sorry that you missed some things that we were auctioning off, but I'm glad that you got a good night's sleep because you because you needed it. Hey, Steph. Thanks for coming. Steph fell asleep too, she says. Okay, we have a registration registration for Moon Z3. Moon Z3. Um, oh, I think I had that registration already. That's funny. I can't read lips. Hold on. Let me put myself on mute. My daughter okay. has a question. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Moon Spark to you. If you have, uh, if you're here, would you just make a comment in the chat so we can get you a wrench? Yes, the registration number, once you have a number, it never, ever, ever changes. If you guys are on Facebook, oh, good, there you are, Moonspark. All right, Moonspark, your registration number is 330. We're going to give you number 330, and Donna's going to wrench you up. When you come over to my channel tomorrow, we'll get you, I'm assuming you're coming over to my channel tomorrow, we'll get you wrenched up over there as well. This way you'll be available, you'll be have a number and a wrench for all of both mine and Donna's auctions, which most of the time we do together anyway, but once in a blue moon we do. All right. Moon spark to you. Sorry. That's okay. Just wrench moon spark to you and give them number 330. Okay, 330. Oops. It keeps expanding on me. Okay. Thank you, Buying Space. There's the um, Auctions for You Facebook group. So if you guys um, are on Facebook and you want to join that group, I do post the um, the numbers there. I haven't in a few days. I took it down to do um, the spreadsheet. 
So I'll get it back up there in the next couple of days. But join the group. If you guys have any bulk items you want to lot up and sell on there, I have no problem with that. But that's your uh, business with the person you sell to. Protect yourself and make sure that you're using uh, secure payment like PayPal. Um. So... Oh, she said she found us through Bolo Buddies. Thank you, Courtney. How come I made her a moderator and... Okay, so uh, what's moon? What's moon's moon sparks to you? To you, what number is it? Three thirty. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Texas Sparkle, Texas Sparkle, is she wrenched on your channel? Uh, I know Texas Sparkle bouquet. Did you register Texas Sparkle? If you did, not a problem. I'll just check for the email. I think maybe, yes. And did you give her a number? And we are going to call this first um, to Cindy Raymond. Yep, we're sold to Cindy for 50. Sorry, Cindy. <laughs> I forgot to call it. <laughs> we got sidetracked. Cindy Raymond, $50, lot number one. Congratulations, Cindy. Congratulations, congratulations. Okay, let me put this safely over here. Chopped out of the way. Okay, I'll do a lot of... Um, um, I have some I have some movies right here. I'll do a lot of movies. And have you seen Leah Lynch in the chat by any chance? Has she been around? No, I haven't seen her. See you later. Got to run over to the mall. Is the mall open money for Mars? I don't know. Huh. I don't know where they live. Okay. I have two case, two boxes filled with movies. Um, start them off at $25 and I'll show you. Oh, oh nail. Okay. That's more like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a mix. Um, it's a mix of kids and adult movies. So resellers or for personal use, I'm going to start them off at $25 shipped and let's see where it goes. You guys can start bidding whenever you feel like it. DVDs. DVDs. Okay, thank you, April. You don't want to start it at a specific amount? Uh, $25. Okay. I'm just taking them all out so I can put them back in after I show them. Okay. So, the first one is Line Watch. Next, we have Source Code. Wow, awesome. 169 here now. Wow, you guys, thank you. This is a Norton virus. Probably need that for my own computer because it keeps crashing. This one is Hello Kitty. No, I didn't say adult movies, but I do have adult movies, <laughs> in case you're wondering. Um but I'm not going to present them. You'll have to get in touch with me privately for that. Okay, this is Nick Jr. And I, I have might bring them like a late Sunday night auction. <laughs> I have sold some. 178. Wow. Okay, this one is Webley's Excitement. This one is another Webley. This one is District 9. <laughs> John Jones. Norton Virus was a scary movie. <laughs> <laughs> District 9. You know what I noticed in the car when I was watching my daughter's video? She does the same thing I do with my hair. She does. I wonder if she picked it up for me. Like she'll grab her hair and like throw it in the back like that. Oh, yeah. She does I, it all the time. I do that. I do that all the time. And Cesarina, the one in the back seat, she does the same thing. I wonder if she got that from me or if I got it from her. Who knows? Mighty Machines. I noticed that when I was watching the video. I've never noticed it before. Um, amazing magic tricks with sponge balls. Ooh, 
Interesting. This is Walt Disney Miracle, and it's a two disc. Thank you, Tammy. 186 in the chat right now, too. Awesome. Awesome. 27 from Jen. 192 now. Blue. Let's hit 200. Let's hit 200. Woohoo! That's crazy. Lord of the Rings. 30 from Cindy. Two discs. Um, save the last dance. Talbert's mom, I might be able to hook you up with that. Transformers. Dr. Seuss. We don't know yet, Larry. A lot. <laughs> Cloudy with the chance of meatballs. Oh, that's a great movie. <laughs> I'm not counting. No, April is. The client. Is April here? Yes, she said she's counting. Thank you, April. April, I got your trees. I'm going to send them out, I promise. Repo Man. I put them to the side so they wouldn't break away from all my shipping stuff. Death Sentence. Devil. Sorry. Don't know what that's about. Um, the Fault in Your Stars. That's like a cute little movie. Um, Pitch Perfect. Pride and Glory. Blitz. All right, we have Cindy Raymond at 34. Fast and Furious. Scavengers. The Last Witch Hunt. Ooh. Um, Al Pacino, 88 Minutes. Thank you, Matt Jones. I know it's exciting, right? Face Off, two, two disc set, special collector's edition, John Travolta and Nicolas Cage. I bet I would like that one. Final Destination 2. Sherlock Holmes. Faster. The Island. 191 T. Wow. Tinkerbell. Rush. Um, Van Wilder, no thing on it, but it's a two disc. No, Cody, man, I find DVDs and storage units a lot, a lot. People tend to put DVDs and VHS. I have actually a nice lot of VHS coming up today too. Um, Eagle Eye. I think Bobby bought my last set of VHS. Um, Shooter. And the last one is X-Men, two disc CD, X-Men uh, X -Man United. All right, we have 36 now from JRKR. And that's the whole lot. 40 DVDs total. Three. Wow, that's awesome. That's a lot. Less than a dollar a piece, you guys. 36 from Jen... Cindy says, out. Oh, did I say Cody Man again? Yeah, you got to stop. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, Cody. Sorry, Cody. Cody, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Follows us, Cody Man. Sorry. 
I'm sorry. Loves you too. Loves you too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's because of Cody, man. I know. I know. I don't mean any disrespect. I'm sorry. Larry is at forty. Hundred and ninety-two. You Yay. guys, please, as you're coming in or going out, please make a comment or please leave me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Awesome, awesome. Really appreciate it, you guys. Awesome. Makes All right, Larry said 40. Susan, you're lagging a little bit, honey. Wow, 192 in the chat. 199, 203. 203. Holy cow. Awesome, awesome. Hit the thumbs up, guys. Make sure you're hitting the thumbs up. Oh my God, that's awesome. That's thank you, awesome. Guys. Yes, thank you, Joy Munkin. 203, that is crazy. 208. Wow. Susan, I'm are you at 42? Do we have Susan Arrington at 42? Wow, I must be on an algorithm somewhere. That's awesome. That's awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. And thanks, everyone. All right, we need 42. Susan, are you in at 42? Larry can Larry's in at 43. All right, 45 now. We're looking for 45. Oh, thanks, you guys. For a small channel, that's huge. Absolutely. For being such a small channel. All, All right. right, Susan Arrington now at 45. Thank you, Susan. You guys are great. You're gonna need, gonna more, need more wrenches. <laughs> you guys are great. Wrench them up. Wrench them up. I'll drop the registration link if anybody wants to register for an auction. Joy, I don't know who you feet, are. Says the vet Anderson. Joy says I'm excited as you are. I said I know <laughs> she is because she's been with me from like day one. I know you are, Joy. You've watched. All right, we're show. looking for 47 now. We have 45 with Susan <laughs> Arrington. <laughs> Katap is like, where's the vodka? <laughs> it's time to party. Champagne all around. 46 oh now. Larry, $2 increments, honey. That's incredible. I can't even tell you how happy. It's amazing how, oh, now it's 206. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding? Look at that. that 48 is... now from Susan. Looking for 50 now. So awesome. Thank you, Cindy Raymond. Thank you, Amy Joe. You guys are awesome. You are no longer a small channel. Oh my gosh. Kind of. <laughs> I still am. But to have that many people in the chat is just crazy. All right. My we have Larry out, Larry. Susan at 48. Anyone want to come in at 50? You guys are awesome. You were in my recommendation, says HG Big Snags. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, somebody else just said you were at the top of my feed. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, so YouTube must be like putting me in that algorithm. Yeah. Awesome. Top I'm, of so glad, I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you guys for coming. If anybody wants to register to bid in the auction, we'll drop the link again. Um, send us an email with that information and you'd be uh, eligible to win. We are now going to go once for $48 to Susan Arrington on this lot of DVDs. 40 in total. Look at, look at um, HG Big Snags is going to fit in perfect with our family. I go, Absolutely. you're kidding. And he's like, so serious. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to fit in just fine. <laughs> We're not serious in here at all, believe me. Um, Kaustab Chadorka, can you quickly give a gist about the channel? Absolutely. So we do auctions here. We do a lot of bulk auctions, which means we sell a lot. Right now we're selling a lot of 40 DVDs. We have a high bidder of 48. We just did. I type going once. Now we're going to go twice. And last and final call to Susan Arrington at $48. Ladies and gentlemen, 
going once, going twice, and we are sold to Susan Arrington for $48. That includes shipping. It's always free shipping if you're in the United States. If you're not, then we can always work something out if there's a lot that you're interested in and you want to bid on it. If you guys want to register, again, I'll drop the link in the chat. You're sending an email to both of those uh, email addresses. One is Donna's, one is mine. Uh, we both have auctions on our channel, so you'd be registered on both. We give everybody an auction number. It stays the same for the life of us <laughs> and the auctions. <laughs> so if anybody wants to do that, go ahead. Hey, Vet Anderson, way to go, Susan. Yes. Congratulations, Susan. Thank you for your purchase. Thank you so much, my dear. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Very cool. Bobby. <laughs> Bobby's so funny. And we have tacos and peaches all around. <laughs> tacos and peaches all around. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. Yes, it's free to register. You don't have to buy. Um, just uh, join the channel so that you'll be alerted when we go on and do live. Sometimes we just do talk shows. Sometimes I do interviews, um, pop-up auctions. Um, I do auctions on Friday nights and Sunday nights. And then we do auctions on T's channel, like almost every other day of the week, just about. Um, but then I do other things in between. I buy storage units. Hi, Barb. Thanks for coming in. Hello, Barb. I buy storage units and I also do pallet buying and I sell things wholesale and uh, Courtney, are you in the chat? You can, um, Courtney can drop a link for those of you. Um, let's see, Donna, Donna, don't invoice till after weekend. Okay. Just saying, yep. No problem. No problem at all, sweetheart. Um, uh, Bolo Buddies, Bolo Buddies is a great channel, and she actually just featured us with people that purchased things from our auctions that resold them as resellers on Poshmark, Macari, and eBay, and she did a phenomenal um, uh, video about it, um, so you can see like the 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 turnaround in the money that people make buying things from auctions from us. I sell things wholesale. So it's basically like going to the thrift shop, but you can just sit in the comfort of your home and watch us and everybody in this chat. Honestly, we're like one big family. We've been doing this now for 10 months. I started doing it 10 months ago and we're all very close on first name basis. And um, yeah, thanks to everyone that's here. That's new. We really appreciate it. And uh, thank you, YouTube for putting me in that algorithm today. And thank you. Courtney. Hey, Courtney. Thank you, my dear. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Courtney for the super chat. Um, Boy, it's amazing what a role. Oh, yeah, she's right. Maybe for a minute. I didn't see Siggy. Maybe for a minute. Put our tags up. Somebody's asking for our names. Oh, okay. Hey, fun, fun, fun. Yes, it's a fantastic video. Courtney, hey, phenomenal job with that. Couldn't be happier. And uh, thank you, Courtney. Oh, Julia said, found you guys from Bolo as well. Yeah, she's a great support to the channels. She yeah. really is. Courtney and I have become very, very good friends. We, uh, She's really, honestly, like my go-to. She has helped me with ideas and um, uh, the description and definition of a dibble box. <laughs> <laughs> The dibble box. Oh my gosh, I'm at 222 in the chat, you guys. Thank you guys. I'm on some crazy algorithm right now that is just crazy. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate everyone here. Thank you, all the newbies. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you, Yvette. Thank you. And again, if you guys want to register for the auctions, I'll drop the link. Um, let me just grab it again. Um, and then, you, you know, you'll have an auction number. You'll be eligible for giveaways. We do do giveaways on, during the auction. And, Let's uh, do a giveaway right now. Okay. Let's do a giveaway right now. All right. Sounds good. So this is the next giveaway. This is the next giveaway. Okay. I'm not going to show it. If you guys want to register, this is your opportunity to register. 
if you want to register. Here's the registration information. You can register. We'll assign you a auction number and I'm going to get ready to do a giveaway. No purchase necessary. No purchase necessary. Okay, Happy Time has subscribed. Happy Time, make a comment so I can rent you and give you a number. And then we'll give you an auction number. Shake that bag. I will, I will. And pretty soon I'm going to be shaking the ball. Texas Sparkle Boutique. Are you Happy Time? Hey, Retro Dottie. Hi, honey. Hey, Retro Dottie. Thanks for being here. Uh, let's see. Is uh, Texas Sparkle, is that... Um, Don't worry. Don't worry, Susie Woozy. We Texas have it. Sparkle Boutique is registered. Okay. Is that who just registered just this uh, minute? Well, it, it, you would know it because it came in as Texas Sparkle Bouquet. No. Okay. Oh, oh, a minute. Boutique. Sorry. Um, oh, my. Oh, this. Oh, this is just. Oh, I'm sorry. They didn't um, register. They subscribed to my channel. That's what that was. Okay. Okay. We're going to call it. We're gonna call it. We're gonna wait. Call wait, wait. It. You didn't give Texas Sparkle Bouquet a number. Okay. What's the, what's Texas Sparkle? Thirty one, and we just got another registration. What is it? Texas Sparkle Bouquet is three thirty one. Three thirty one. And three thirty two is gonna go to Barb. Barb, make a comment, please, so I can rent you. Barb, make a comment. There we are. Bar, Barb Stanforth, 332. Okay, 332 is your number. All right. Two twenty six in the chat. You guys are phenomenal. Thank you, guys. Thank you I so much. cell phone lots. I don't have any today. What's that? Cell phone lots. No, I, I, I'd have to go look for some. I'm I'm sure I have some, but I'd have to go yeah. look for some. 2.30. All right. We're going to pull a number. All right, here we go. Here we, go. Do, 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 do. we don't have we don't have Robin here to play the music. No, she needs to wake up. Mimi! Hey. Oh my gosh, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. So appreciated. Jill, look. Promise, promise. That's promise. right. Connie's been around so long, she's number nine. Right. Iris number 15. Yep. <laughs> All right, we're digging deep. We're digging deep. Doesn't look like it has writing on it. Oh, that's a good sign. Could be an early number. 144. Who's got number 144? Let's see. As T looks on the list. 144. April Morris. April. Yay. Awesome. April Morris. Woohoo. Okay, April, this is what you win. Awesome, April. Congratulations. You win a mask. Nice. Compliments of June. That is awesome. That is, I love the colors. Yep, she handmade this. And this is a nice big one. And it has the wire in it. Nice. And let me see if this one has a pocket. And it has a pocket right there where you can put a filter in. Like, I, I think any kind of, like, filter. She said, thank you. I did one really, really bad. Huh? 
She said she needs one really bad. Oh, good April. Good. I'm so glad. Yep. So this is your gift. Oh my God. 234 in the chat. I mean, who would ever think somebody would be excited about a mask? It's becoming like the new fad now. Oh, who has the God. nicest looking mask? I know. A copy filter works too, Talbert mom says. Oh, I have to keep taking pictures of this because this is like... To me, this is like crazy that it's like, I keep, every time the number goes higher, I keep taking pictures. June, thank you, my dear. Mwah. Thank you, thank you, we thank you. We could hit 300. We could hit 300. We're up to 245. No, we're not. It says 238 on mine. 245? 245. Wow. Holy cow. No, we did just drop, actually, we dropped to 236 all of a sudden. That was crazy weird. numbers today. I know. I wonder if it's my thumbnail, all the hearts. I don't know. What did I say in the... You didn't really say much, just pop-up auction. Right? Get to auctioning, Jill says. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jill. We're sorry. <laughs> we made a little excited, you know? <laughs> 242. It's nice. Um, June, are you still in the chat? Yeah, she's here. Two forty-seven. Two forty-nine. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Yvette, Yvette Anderson just all right. Registered. Yvette, make another comment in the chat, honey. Two fifty-four. Woohoo! Yvette, make another comment. She did make a comment up above, but make another one so we can give you a wrench, hun. There she is. Yes, yes. All right, and she's going to be three 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 is your auction number. And we'll do another giveaway. Um, I'll give something away uh, in a few moments. It's like seeing your bank account go up. Two fifty-four. Um, June, people want to know if they're for sale. Um, we'll let you guys, I'm going to talk to June. Um, we'll let you guys know about that in, to, in tonight's show. And if June wants to sell them, I'm going to, I'm going to talk to her about them because, um, what I'm actually thinking about doing, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm thinking about buying them from June and using them as giveaways to, uh, to, should, should I be making a thumbnail? For tonight? Yeah, uh, oh, not tonight. Not tonight. Tomorrow. I was like... Tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah, we're not going on tonight. We're taking tonight off. <laughs> yeah, we're taking, tomorrow, we're taking tonight off. So um, she doesn't have... She's making them as quickly as she can. She doesn't have that many. There is a show tonight. No. 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 no we're just going to stay on this afternoon. And um, no, there isn't a show tonight. First time watching, just sent my registration. Jen, you, Jen. Lou, did you get her registration? I just heard my phone go off. Um, yes, I oh, got it. Jen yep. Lee. Yep. So Jen Lee gets what number? 334. 334 for Jen Lee. 334. Thank you, Jen, for joining. Thank you for being here. All right, make sure hey, you Tom Cruise. Has Tom Cruise been here or did he just join? He just came in. He just came yeah. in. So. Welcome, Jen. Hey, Chris, you see these numbers? Crazy, crazy numbers going up. Holy cow. It's awesome. Gonna love it being stuck in an algorithm. That sometimes it's all it takes. You guys, please subscribe to my channel, and if you can go over and subscribe to T, also, I'll drop my link too because they can't click the dots. They certainly can't click the dots. We have a lot of new subscribers today, Tom. Yeah, we do. Oh my gosh, a lot of new people. Jay Smooth Finds. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Hey, Jay. Welcome. For those of you that want the auction items, uh, thank you for your patience. I'm really excited about all of the new members that we've got coming in. And Jay, if you would like to get an auction number 
and um, you can follow these instructions here. We'll assign you an auction number and that will make you eligible for uh, giveaways that we give throughout our shows. And I sent my registration, Jay Smooth. Oh, last night, okay. All right, let me check, Jay. Okay, June, yeah, so June is, is texting me. So she's gonna make some available for me to give away to people for free, free giveaways, 260. How come mine's not moving? Mine still says 220, 260. Holy cow, that's incredible. Yep, I see it when I leave StreamYard. Okay, does Jay have a now? Um, I'm not seeing it, but give me a minute, give me a minute just to make sure. Um, did you send it to both channels, Jay? 268. Because if he only sent it to you and not to me, I don't have it. 70. Thank you, everybody that's here. Thank you so much. Hey, Rachel, 270 people in the chat. Check that out. Holy cow. Thank you, guys. Told you we're going to hit 300. Yes, um, Source from Paradise. People that don't win would still like to uh, purchase the masks as possible. That's up to June. Um, let's see if she can make them and make them available. Um, you don't see Jay? I don't. Jay, can you resend it? Nacho Flippin' Business. Hello, everyone. Is this an auction? It is. Nacho Flippin' Business. I recognize that number, that name from somewhere else. Where did we see that? Okay, I'm going to go grab a lot while you're looking, you guys. I'll go grab something to auction off. Hey, Gail. How are you, hon? Good to see you. Yes, you have Nacho Philip in business. Yes, we were. Um, Wondering if you were registered or not. Whenever somebody comes in without a wrench, we just, you know, we want to know if you guys need tea. No, no, Rachel. No, honey. Doing good, staying. Yep. Staying in. Thank you, Jill. Okay. I just grabbed a kid's clothing lot. Let's see what's in here. My daughter put this together for me. 270 in the chat. Wow. Holy cow. Did you find a T? No. Are they resending it? I don't know. 279, 278. Okay. Let's see what's in this. I don't know how many pieces there are. April, if you could count them for me. April and Abraham are our resident counters. Abraham's kind of like resigned, though. He's like, I'm handing over the reins to April. Okay, this one is Puma. Excellent condition. These are all kids' clothes. This is a uh, size four. Puma shorts. They're all like brand new condition. All these clothes, that I, these all came out of a storage unit and they're excellent condition. Here's Lucky Brand. Two toddler. Okay, there's Jay. All right, we got it. This one is, okay, Nacho Flippin' Business? No, Jay. Love, Jay. Um... Jay Smooth Spines. Correct. And Jay, your auction number is 335. 
Hello, Melanie. Okay. All right. Full screen, Donna. Okay, Tammy. Thanks for the reminder, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you. Takes a village. Okay. And okay. Donna, show the whole item. Okay. This is a Tommy Hill figure, size two toddler. Tommy Hill figure, size two toddler. This one is a Tommy Hill figure three toddler. This one is, these people spent a lot of money on clothes. Baby Gap. Uh, I think most of these are two and three toddlers. So I'm not going to keep saying two and three toddler. This all came out of the same bin. These are Wranglers. What's this lot number? Seven, eight, ten. Now I'll have to look. Um, start is 25, Cindy. These are... Well, that's why I wanted the lot number so I could put that in the chat. 24 months. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me look for you. I'm sorry. Um, lot number three. <laughs> lot number three? We've been on for two hours. I know. <laughs> I was teasing when I said five, seven, ten. Chit chat. Okay. That means we've shown four lots so far. Nickelodeon. Nautica. They're all brand names. These are health tech. And they smell really good. They smell nice and clean. Like just freshly washed. This is Sport Club 26. I don't know what the tag says on it. This one is... I think I think 25. Go animals. Yeah, this is like a whole wardrobe for a two-year-old. Uh, quad since 1976-7. Don't know. Don't know that name. It's a cute little checkered shirt. And here is club, class club. Here is baby bagosh. The little anchors on it. Very cute. Here we have 365 kids. This one, Polo by Ralph Lauren. You know who hasn't been around that used to like to buy clothes from me is um, Kev uh, in Ohio. Well, Kevin in Ohio? Remember him? Cat and Jack. Oh, she's not there. That's why she's not answering. Um, Free Planet. They're wrinkled, but they're in good shape. Um, this one is Garanimals again. And here we have Garanimals again. And true religion. Gap. Pat comes in at 27, Cindy now at 30. Nautica. Carter's. Levi's Big 
Baby Gap. It's inside out. Don't know what's on it. Baby Gap. Um, sorry guys, I'm trying to go faster. Thomas the Train. Baby Gap again. Almost done. There's a nice value in this bag. Carter's again. Pat comes in at 32. Cindy now at 34. Um, Lucky Brand. Wonder Nation. Nickelodeon. H&M. Carter's. All right, Pat in at 36, Cindy now 38. Pat back in at 40, Cindy now at 42. Baby Gap again. Oh, Christine, that's a low number compared to what it's been. <laughs> Christine just came in. She's like, Donna, you have 238 people. Hate to tell you we're up to 278. <laughs> yeah, we were way, way up there for a minute. Nautica. And the last piece here are pajama bottoms, Spider-Man. Okay. So I'm going to tell you a story about these little pajama bottoms, Spider-Man. To you guys, it may look like a piece of junk, but to some little kid that will only wear these, and you know what I'm talking about, I talk about this all the time. Like, Don't be afraid to list something like this because to some mom or some child, this could be the world, meaning... They could have left it somewhere. Well, no. There's uh, so many kids that are on the spectrum that sometimes, and I know this because of a, sheet, a set of sheets that I sold. Um, there was actually two. I had some sheets that were Thomas the Train sheets, and the mom wrote me a message, and they were old. They were like 10 years old, but mine were like in excellent condition. And the mom wrote me, and she's like, she bought both because her son has autism, and he'll only sleep on those sheets. Like some kids, they get so attached to, like, say, Spider Man pajamas. And where are you going to go find, you know, older styles? you know, this particular print Spider-Man pajamas, if a child will only wear these pajamas every single day. So just a little story for you to think about, like to you and to, to me, it's probably like, ugh, why would you even bother? But someone out there is looking for those guaranteed, guaranteed. Someone's looking for those. If you're a reseller. If you're All right, Pat's at 44, Cindy's at 48 and Pat is out now. If you're buying yes. this personal yes, use, um, I'll drop the link um, to register. It's a free deal. As soon as you register, you'll be able to bid. So by the next lot, you're good to go. Yes, April. Absolutely. So you've got Cindy at 48. Yep. We're going to go once to Cindy now at 48. Pat's out. Yeah, it is Tammy, right? Great lot of clothes for personal use too. You guys, you don't have to buy them for just um, reselling. All right, Joey. I had a few new people come in. Make sure you're directing them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you missed it, Joe. We we were like up at 270. <laughs> yeah, we were, Joey. It was crazy. We had like this huge influx of people that came in. I got stuck on some sort of algorithm. I was coming up. We were asking the people where they were coming from, and they were telling us that they were uh, suggested videos yeah. on their YouTube page. So yeah, something, 
something about my thumbnail or something that I said. I mean, we still have a lot of people here, but 200, I have 235 people still here. Jonathan Roseberry, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. It was way beyond that, right, Tom? Going once, going twice. See, see what Amy says? My son and fair warning. would only wear two pairs of pajama pants, Batman. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. See, that's what I'm talking about from being a reseller, you know, for years. I know because I've heard the stories, you know. Um, okay, so it's to Cindy Raymond. And it sold for $48? Yes, ma'am. $48 to Cindy for kids clothes. All right, honey, I'm gonna put you on. Are you ready? I am. Awesome, can you do two or three lots so I can regroup? Yes, ma'am. Jonathan, thank you so much for the super chat, honey. Okay, here you go. Okay. All right, we're gonna do a lot of antiquarian and collectible books. And we're going to start off with this one. It's called The Doll and Her Friends. Uh, again, I don't like to touch too much of this uh, because you should wear gloves when you touch old books. Um, this was given in Christmas of 1937. So it is um, written on the front page. And the copyright on it is 1893. We're going to start this book lot off at $20 shipped, and that's the board's side. Again, 1800s on that book. That's number one. This one is called The World's Best 100. I have to open it up. Detective Stories. And there's a, there's a couple of these books in these series. Uh, this one is 1924. 29 Funkin' Wagnalls, um, copyright is 1910, and the, these run in a series of books, that's what that one looks like. This one is called Centennial Horace Mann at An Ananak, Joe Elmer Morgan, it's this one. And it's a little bit of foxing and spotting on this one. It is 1938. This one is Short History of English People, Volume 2. Oops. Let's eat tea. And this one is undated. Let me see. It's a reprint 1934 from a 1915 first edition. This is called Just for the Hell of It. By Kenneth Collins, Dodd and Mead, 1938. A little bit of writing in there, it's in pencil. This is A Tale of Two Cities, Charles Dickens. The um, dust jacket is very poor on this one. But it is a, in fact, that's the, that's the inside of the dust jacket. It is not a book club edition because some of these tend to be a book club edition. This one is not, and it is 1948. Now this book, I'm letting this book go. I've been holding on to it forever because I've done more research than not on here. 
It is signed. It is, um, I don't know. I, it, I don't even know if this has anything to do with the book, but I'm leaving it in here. The only thing I will tell you on the front page, there is like somebody decided they wanted to do some adding on this and use that as a blank piece of paper. But this book is Campbell Meeker and oh, there's more um, writing on here, but it is signed. It's there was 147 copies of this book. Um, and this is number 93. It's from 1925. I cannot find it. I cannot find it. I mean, this could be a gold mine. I don't know. Um, I've been sitting on it for a long time. And, you know, it is not in great, you know, like I said, that somebody decided they wanted to add all over this book. Now that is, I believe that might be a pencil and not a pen. So maybe it can be removed, but I've done enough research on him. I'm done. <laughs> I'm so done. I can't, I can't search for this book anymore. Uh, this is the way of philosophy. I have no dust jacket, 34 99 to 39 50. Again, some of the research I did just never got around to listing these. Um, the Odyssey press, New York. And this one is first edition, 1954. This one is Ethical Studies. There is um, Ethical Studies. It's an Oxford book. There is writing of someone's name on there and on there. And this one is a second edition. And it was probably, um, again, a textbook from Oxford. So I'm sure they're up to first published 1876. The second edition is from 1927. So that's that one. This one is Man's Hope. Now, again, there's my registration. There's my, my, you know, again, this could be three years ago. So I have no idea. You guys have to do your own research with these books because God knows I did and never got around to them. Um, again, Prior owner's name inscribed with a date, 1939. Man's Hope by Andre Malraux. Random House, New York, New York. Fourth printing, 1938. So that's that one. And this is um, this is actually a volume one of four. It's missing the dust jacket. Set sells upward of 500 or 99.95 by itself. Again. Research I did, I was into books, books with my life for years on eBay, um, and I've gotten completely away from it. But anybody who wants to start and um, do books, again, this this is from a couple of years ago. This is only volume one of four volumes, but it's the Collected Essays, Journalism, and Letters of George Orwell, um, an age like this from 1920 to 1940. And that's, it's, it's, it's in very clean condition though. I will tell you for the age and stuff, it really is in pretty good condition. I mean, yes, we have ding corners, um, but the board still and the glit still looks pretty good on this. Um, and that's, uh, that's that. And it's 1968 first edition on that one. So that's that. And the last one, it's a little beat up, but it's called Surprise Islands. And I'm going to tell you this, this was my book. <laughs> this is like from the first grade. So it's like 40 plus years and we'll just leave it at that old. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what the date is, but as you can tell, the spine is not great on that one. But, uh, it was actually my book. Um, what grade was this? Oh, Mrs. Case. This has to, oh, Miss Von Mecco is third grade. Yeah, so it has to be around third grade. And it's called Surprise Island. Scott Forsman and Company. Obviously, it was a book we got school. Scott Forsman was always uh, the book guy. And it's 1950. And that's the book, Surprise Island. 
Yeah, old hymnals. I did sell some Bibles and a couple of hymnals last night. I may have some more for tomorrow. How appropriate for Easter Sunday. So, um, yeah. So that's all the books, guys. I'll leave any of the research that I did. I'll leave the I'll leave the yellow. Some some of them even have papers inside of things I printed out. I'll leave it all with the books. But you guys are going to definitely have to do your own research on your own. Um, and we have Gina at thirty seven. Thank you, Heidi Leslie. And that's that's the books there. And guys, don't forget Courtney's doing another uh, bolo. Uh, edition looking for stuff that you guys buy at auction and any home runs that you find so i uh, appreciate if you forward courtney anything you buy from the auction and what you resell it for if it's definitely a bolo i appreciate it Kay flanagan now at 39 thank you Kay. thank you gina thank you dawn thank you everyone for helping heidi and april appreciate it I'm back. How many lots have you done? I just sell on the books. I had to show all the books. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm going to go into uh, and try to pull some glassware. I got some more clothes ready and I'll try to get a plush lot too. So I'm going to be leaving for another second. Okay. I just wanted to check on you, make sure you didn't need me for anything. Okay. All right. We're going to go once to Katie at 39. Let me know where you guys stand. Gina and Don. Don says he's out. How do I send something to Bolo? Courtney, you want to uh, address that one? All right. Gina says she's out. To add this. Love them. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. How many in total, Jay? There's 13 total, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, actually 12. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve of them. All right, we're going to go twice now. Thank you guys. Fair warning, last and final call. For $39 to Kay Flanagan, going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold to Kay for $39. Thank you, Kay. All right, I'm gonna do some 45s. Let's do some 45s. I usually always like to do 40 45s. So we're going to start 40 45s off at $20 shipped. And April, if you can help me out with this one, greatly appreciated. I just grabbed a bunch. I'm not sure if there's 40 here, but if you can count for me, I greatly appreciate it. All right. We have Snooky Lanson. We have Mr. Trumpet Man, Perry Cuomo, Main Street String Band, Vaughn Monroe and his orchestra, Hal Loman Orchestra, Arturo Toscani. And then we go to R.E.M. <laughs> Always a great uh, mix-up here. Petula Clark. Paul Anka. Simon and Garfunkel. Blondie. Deacon Andy Griffith. Deacon Andy Griffith again. Bobby Freeman, Little Anthony and the Imperials, the Mellow Tones, 
This is, says for radio station use only. Shoes too late. Gary Keeby. For radio station use again. Gary Keeby, Jeff Murphy. Shoes tomorrow night. Dancing in the Street, Mick Jagger and David Bowie. Bobby Vinton. Nat King Cole. Guy Lombardo. Bobby Adams. Don Cherry. The Steve Miller Band. Mo Bandy and Joe Stampley. ELO. The Bee Gees. Carol's Party, Carol, Carol. Doesn't say who it is, though. Carol. It's Carol. <laughs> I don't know. It's Carol. The label says Carol. And we have the Little River Bands. Cool in the Gang. R. Dean Taylor, Zager and Evans, Glenn Campbell, Bill Justice, Barry White, Sue Thompson, And the Rascals. And let us know where we're at, April. Greatly appreciate it. Fat Bird's fine. 22. Thank you. Thirty-eight. All right, I owe you two more. I owe you guys two more. Let's grab two more. Let's grab. Harvey and the Moon Glows, that in a package, and Swing and Sway with Sammy K. Okay. All right. All right. 40 of them, 40, 45s. Fat Burns finds how it's. Thanks. Just realized that. Okay. So Fat Bird Fine starts us out at 20. Thank you. Hey, Don. Thanks, guys. Yes. Thumbs up, please, everyone. Appreciate everyone coming in. Thank you so much. I love you, Fat Bird Fine, says Talbert's mom. All right. No other interest. We're going to go once to Fat Bird Fine's at 20. 24 now from Deborah. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate all you guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Any other interest? Deborah's in at 24. Anyone want to go 26? We're going to go once to Deborah. I'm going to go twice now to Deborah. And fair warning. Last and final call for the 4045s to Deborah Smith for $24. Going once, going twice. And we are sold to Deborah Smith at 24. You 11 trolls can go to the back of the bus. Did we have 11 trolls? Did I miss something? Did I miss it? All right. Donnie, you back or you want me to do another one? All right, I guess she wants me to do another one. Um, let's do the shoe lot. 
Let's do the shoe line. All right. April, you can count for me. I'm not sure how many shoes are in here, how many pairs. We're going to start it off with this. And remember, guys, these come from storage units. The dust is free. I don't clean anything because I don't. I, unless I'm going to resell them, I'm leaving that up to you. All right. So this is a pair of calicos. They are a women's size seven, women's size seven medium. And we'll start the shoes off at $25 shipped. These are a pair of Hunt Club sandals. And they are a size seven medium as well. These are an Ipanema, made in Brazil. They're a seven and a half medium. These are Dr. Scholl's. Again, they have to be cleaned. I have not cleaned any of these shoes. Came right out of a storage unit. And these are... Seven and a half. These are these are genuine leather pawn P A W N seven medium. That seems to be the name of the actual style of the shoe. I'm just not seeing the name of the actual shoe. Can't really read it. If you guys know that, that's what that is. And that's what the shoes look like. Okay, Mad Dog, I can check real fast. I can I can definitely check real fast. Yep, I got it. When Donna comes back, she'll rent you and we'll give you an auction number. But if you want to bid on anything, you're good. You're fine. You can bid. All right, next pair is, oh, these, these are almost duplicates to the red ones. Ipanema, size seven and a half medium. Uh, they're like a hot pink. So that's like identical to the red. You can pretty much put the same description, just change the pictures. This is Crystal Creek sandals. A little bit of gold on those. Those are a size nine. These are called Fancy Steps. Fancy steps. Fancy steps. And they are a size. Seven B. Seven B. That's those. These are Keds. They definitely need a little cleaning up. Keds. And these are seven. And these are plushy sketchers, slippers. And these. I don't see a size. I don't see a size. Of course, I'm almost tempted to say there were seven because almost everything in this box was a seven, but I don't want to say that. Sure. But yeah, I don't see a size on these at all. You'll have to measure them. 
but they're Skechers slippers. And then there's another pair here of Keds. I'm just going to throw them in because you will need to, you definitely will need to wash these for sure. So there are seven and a half in yellow, but you will definitely need to wash those. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. Hey, Rich. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Eleven pairs of shoes. And the rehomers at twenty seven. All right, 11 pairs of shoes, and we have 27 from Rehomer. Yes, make sure you're on live chat, not top chat. Thank you guys for helping. I really appreciate it. Don't be a bum. Hit that thumb. Absolutely. Thank you, Myra. All right, we're going to go once to the Rehomer. Pat, let me know where you stand. 29 now from Claudia. Bid quickly because of the lag. <laughs> All right. 32 now from the rehomer. Pat says she's out. Claudia, you want to go 34? So let us know where you stand. Jonathan. She's not even here to see this, Jonathan. <laughs> 34 now to Claudia. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate it. And I'm sure, Jonathan, I'll say thank you for Donna. I'm sure she appreciates it. You're the bestest. All right, we home is in at 36. Hey, Melissa Cape. Hi, honey. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Claudia is now at 38. Thank you, ladies. Two hundred and seventeen of you still in here. Thank you guys so much. Make sure the red dot to the video. Yes, if the dot is gray, click on the live and it will update. All right. Thirty eight from Claudia now. All right, let's go once to Claudia Rehomer, a.k.a. Hi, all had trouble with Wi-Fi today. All right, Miranda says she's out. We'll go twice now. And fair warning, last and final call to Claudia Harlow at $38 going once going twice and ladies and gentlemen we are sold to claudia for 38 dollars thank you claudia all right are you ready for me yep okay so let's see hold on All right, you guys, I put together a lot of Dolores jewelry, Dolores bags. I don't know how many are in here. It's going to be a big lot. It's uncurated. I'll show you what's in here. Uncurated, meaning I have not checked to see if there's sterling or gold in here. They're just matched earrings in bag. I'm going to start the shipping at, I'm going to start the lot at 50. I mean, I'm sorry, 25. <laughs> These, um, they're all separated for you. She separated for those of you. Um, who just so you know, Jonathan sent the super sticker and a super chat while you were gone. 
Oh, Jonathan, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. There it is, right there. You're awesome. You're awesome. You are so awesome. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you, thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Um, how come people are still bill, um, bidding? Are they lagging? No, they're bidding on the earrings. You didn't even show them yet, and they're already bidding. Flip and Frozen start this off at 25. Don's in at 30. The rehome is now at 36. Okay, thanks, guys. These are beautiful. Take the banner down, honey. <laughs> Sorry. Um, while I have this up, if anybody's new in the uh, back, we actually did just have a registration, and they are eligible to bid. Um, I just couldn't wrench them. So we have, excuse me, Dave Jones. Dave Jones. Dave, make a comment, Dave please. Dave Jones, yep. And what's his number? And his number is going to be 336. 336, Dave Jones. David, I think it's David Jones, actually. David Jones, 336. And if you make a comment, David, we'll give you a wrench. And you'll be eligible to bid. There he is, Dave Jones. There he is, Dave Jones. Okay, thank you, Dave. All right, and we just had another registration. If um, Mad Dog Massimo. What? Mad Dog Massimo, is that your son? No, it can't be. It's not your son. <laughs> my son wouldn't register. No, it's not your son. Mad Dog Massimo. Massimo's my son's name, Mad Dog. <laughs> And uh, we're going to give them 337. <laughs> Great name. And if you can comment, we'll give you a wrench. He did. He just commented. All right. Awesome. Massimo. <laughs> <laughs> Mad dog, you're going to hear me all the time yelling, Massimo. <laughs> what number is he? He is 337. 337. Okay, so for those of you that are seeing the chat, and I've only showed two bags of earrings, um, when I say uncurated, people have found gold and silver in my bags because I do not curate them. Um, I do not look. Every once in a while, I'll pull a piece of silver out that is plainly in sight that says 925. So these are beautiful. These are um, Mia Fiore, made in Italy. Look at how pretty those are. Nice. Those are gorgeous. All right, we have flipping frozen at 45. Um, here is I'm thinking that that little piece right there looks like it may be gold. I'm not sure with that ball. Um, but like I said, I don't know. Here's um beads, hearts, these look like hair clips. All right, Mad Dog Massimo comes in for 50. All right, once we get to 50, guys, you know it's $5 increments. These look like they might be silver. They're kind of neat. It looks like a chair or something. Let me huh. pull these out. These are super neat. I have no idea. Oops, there it goes on the floor. Oh, it's like a ballerina. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, these are definitely artisan. Thank you, Heidi. Pieces. And let me just look out of curiosity. But um, no, I'm not looking hard enough. 55 now from Mary Pill here. Mary, thank you. Mary, you bought so much jewelry from me, sweetheart. I love you for that. Okay, so those are them. And then there are some, these are earring, um, rings in that pouch. These are, I don't know, you guys will have to see. These, gosh, I hope those aren't diamonds. And, well, I mean, I hope for you. 16 now from the Reholder. These look like vintage. Um, there's a whole back, bag of backs. These are kind of like funny looking. 
Oh, sorry. I was reading a shot. There's those. These look like pave. Hope they're not for my sake, but for your sake, I hope they are. There's those. Are they stretch rings? They're earrings, honey. Thank you, fat bird. There's those. There's some feathers. These will probably be the first ones you sell. Aw. <laughs> 65 now from Lucinda. And those little petite ones. And I have no idea what's all in the bottom of this. There's loose earrings. This is a treasure hunt. The bottom of the bag is a treasure hunt. There's earrings, loose earrings, just all kinds of stuff. I don't know if there's real stones or fake stones. So you get all that loose stuff, and then you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 little baggies. Did Jonathan just give me another super chat? He did. Oh my gosh, Jonathan. Are you Rehoma came in at 75 and Tammy comes in with your Benjamin. Yay, Tammy. Thank you for the Benjamin. So this is a true treasure hunt, you guys. I think that there's good stuff in here. I really do. I have a good feeling about it. Um, yay, thank you for the Benjamin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See, these people know. Jewelry lot. Jonathan, you're a sweetheart. Thank you so much for the super chats. Um, lot number, I can't believe I'm on lot number four and we've been on for three hours. No, that should be five, I think. I did salt and pepper, DVDs, kids' clothes. Well, maybe, well, maybe it is four. Maybe it is four. Okay. Did I do something else? 110 from Lucinda. They passed on the plates. Maybe I'm thinking of the plates. Oh, yeah, they passed on the plates. I'm going to build that lot more. All right, 110 from Lucinda, 125 now from Tammy. Tammy, this FYI is 225, so you just keep showing because I'm going to have to bow out soon. Um. Oh, yeah, that's okay. I know I brought a bunch of stuff, so I'll, I'll keep the auction going until you can take your time. Don't feel like you have to rush back. We'll be here. Um. Susan, what the heck? Susan, we reached 271, 271, something like that. 270, 270 plus people viewing this morning. Rehomer, 140. Thank you, Rehomer. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it is so awesome, Susan. It was crazy. I must have jumped into some sort of like algorithm and all these people started coming in. It was like crazy. Bunch of new registrations and everybody was so happy and throwing up hearts. And it was like a big party opening up bottles of champagne. How many pieces are in each bag? Multiple. Some yeah, have so it's more than 25 pieces, Heidi. It's more yeah. than 25 pieces. It's each bag has several pieces in it. Yeah, some only have one and some have like several. Some have several pieces in them. All right, Tammy's at 150. Thank you, Tammy. Yeah, 25 bags plus all of the jewels that are here at the bottom. And I see there's, there's some stones and... Earrings with stones. None of them attested. 160 from the rehomer. Thank you so much. Thank you, Susan, for dropping the link. Thank you. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate everybody being here. Guess one of my new favorite time to do auctions is. 
<laughs> daytime. Daytime Saturdays from now on, for sure. I love it. 170 from Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, thank you. It's a true treasure hunt. 170 from Tammy. Rehomer Homer is out. Tammy. You are wonderful. Thank you so much. Jewelry lot. Number four to Tammy. For 170. Call it, call it, call it, call it. All right, let's go once for 170 to Tammy. <clears throat> Guys, just let me know where you stand. Hey, Brittany Brands. Hey, Brad. I have nothing to gain by saying this. Donna said, I don't know what this is. I found a lot of gold. 36.7 grams from six pieces. Thank you, Don. He has nothing to gain. I don't pay him. <laughs> I don't I don't give him anything extra. <laughs> it's the truth, you guys. It's the truth. And I'm oh, so happy. Nice to now. And thank you for coming back. So it's the truth when I say I don't carry it. But it's the absolute truth. All right, Tim. Final call. Going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold for $170 to Tammy. That's why we ask you guys, if you're YouTube content creators, we appreciate if you guys do an unboxing, because then everybody really truly knows that you are opening a box that you received, and there's no, you know, nothing fishy, so to speak. <laughs> April says kids are in the kitchen again. Who's in the kitchen? Chaz. <laughs> Chaz is in the kitchen. She's having breakfast. It's 2.39 in the afternoon. <laughs> okay. My next one is a piece of Brighton. It's Brighton jewelry. It's beautiful. It's a bracelet. I'd like to start it at $25. It's very special. It has the pink pancreatic cancer. It's like in brand new condition. Um, this is, this is one side and this is the other side and here is your awesome Dana. Here's your B for Brighton right there. And I'll show you how beautiful this is. What did Dana say? She's going to do an unboxing. Oh, cool. What did you buy Dana? I don't even know. Um, no, it's from me. Oh, okay. Oh, Cindy said she got the juicy couture purses, the golden books, and the cassettes, and they are all awesome. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, this is how pretty it is. Well, she's funny. Well, I mean, an unbagging video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah they're not all in boxes, especially plush. <laughs> I ship in. I ship in. Uh, that one went out like a dollar a kilo bag. I know. It did. Flush. So anybody interested in this beautiful Brighton bracelet for $25? Not number tw not number five. $25 shipped to start, guys. It's in excellent condition. Steph comes in at 25. Thank you, Jill. And it's got three, it's got like three um, bands on it. All right. We have Steph at 25. Who wants to go 27? Brighton. Bracelet.
Thank you, Susan. All right, let's call it to Steph. All right, let's go once to Steph at 25. 27 now from Broken Arrow. No missing stones, let me see. It looks like there's a missing stone. Looks like one missing stone, which I didn't realize that. So if you want to retract your bid, I understand. But yes, it has one missing little stone. Hard to see, but it's right, right there. There's a little missing stone. Highly noticeable, but yes, it's there. Um, Broken Arrow, if you want to retract your bid, it's fine. Steph, if you want to retract your bid, it's fine also. It's no problem. I didn't know that there was a missing stone. It's fine. Thank you, Broken Arrow. All right, so we're at 27 with Broken Arrow. It's still beautiful, and it's really hard to tell, and I'm sorry I didn't realize. I didn't didn't look at it closely. I'm still all excited about how many people were in the chat. All right, let's go once. Okay, Brighton. All right. Steph, just let us know if you're out. We're going to go twice now. Or am I? See it right there? Yep. All right. Steph is out. All right. Fair warning. Last and final call. Going once. Going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold to Broken Arrow for $27. Congratulations. Thank you, Broken Arrow. And yes, um, Courtney, isn't it great? Still that many in the chat. $27, lot number five. Okay. What about Hot Wheels? Um, some of these came out of a storage unit that had been closed up for a while. So, and some of them I think are newer. It would take me a half an hour to show them all to you. So I'm going to show you the bucket. That's what I have. And now I'll show you some. I don't know how many are in here. I'll just show you some of them. $25 to start. See, some of them are really old. Some of them are newer. It would take me forever to um, look at each one and the dates, but I'll show you the tops. I'll show you the bottoms. That's in there. That's in there. Okay, we've got Don at 30. We've got My Reseller Treasure at 35. My Reseller Treasure, you need to register, honey. Have I'll you registered? Link again. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing in here. Check and make sure we don't have an, a, an email. It's all right. We'll take your bid for the moment. Let, we'll just admit, make sure you if you sent one, we have it. That's all. $17. 
so that gives you an idea right you guys and there's tons in here yes they are they are registered bye frenchie have a wonderful easter honey we'll be on for coffee in the morning if you're up to it all right my reseller treasure is registered okay thank you So you're good, my seller treasure. Let me make sure we gave them an auction. Okay, I just gave him a wrench. Her. All right, so where are we at? $45, dollars 47 from Cindy. Siggy is out. All right, 47 now from Cindy Raymond, who wants to come in at 49. Uh, I'll look in one second, Tammy. What did Tammy buy? I can tell you. She bought um she bought the jewelry lot for 170 lot number four. Oh, that's four. All right, Dawn is out. My reseller treasure is out. All right, we have six forty seven going once. That's awesome. Good him. Huh? Okay. I'm giving up. All right. Going twice now. Fair warning. Last and final call. Going once. Going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold to Cindy for $47. Congratulations, Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Oh, Don came in at 50 but it was after the sold. Um, cars. Sorry, um, Don. Just one second too late. Okay, let me mark this. Uh, Don, I have more. I'll try to get some more together for tomorrow. Lot number seven, $47 to Cindy. Raymond for the cars. Thanks, Don. Okay. How about <coughs> a bag of Legos? I don't know how many pounds it is, but it is a gallon size bag of Legos for $10. Um, Let's do two. Starting bid ten dollars. Two bags. Two bags of Legos for ten dollars. All right, Matt Jones starts us off at ten. Twelve now to dawn. Two one gallon bags. Twenty to Matt. Any figures in there? Hey, flip it enlisted. How you doing, Brandon? Yeah, there's figures in here. Twenty two now to dawn. I don't know if they're complete. I just dumped them in the bags. 26 now to Jen. 30 to Don. What do you guys do with these? Do they play with them, lop them up, sell them? Yeah, Don's got this huge Lego play set in his basement. You have to see it. Oh, you're kidding. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're so oh. funny. 32 now from KG. <laughs> Matt says eat them. <laughs> I'm like, how do you know that? He sent you a picture. And then I'm like, send it to me. Ooh. I have the best friends. 
Honest to goodness, someone just um Lynn says step on them. <laughs> I know, right? If you have kids, you are stepping on them. <laughs> hey Pocky World. That goes to five dollars a gallon, and these are one gallon bags. What's he saying? Is he is he lagging? I don't know. Me neither. I don't know. But we got Chris at 32. Anybody want to come in at 34? Should we let him go? All right. We'll go once now to Cajun at 32. Thank you, po Pokey, Pookie, Pookie Pogi World. World. Pogey World. Thank you, Pogey World. Chris. Poggy World. Poggy World. You're not a real parent unless you've stepped on Legos. True, Susan. <laughs> Going twice now. Fair warning. The last and final call. Going once. $32. Going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Chris Cajun reseller for $32. $32, lot number seven. Um, $32, lot number seven. Awesome, awesome, awesome beans. Isn't that crazy that you two put me in some sort of algorithm? I and mean, we still have 195 people in the chat, but they put me in some sort of algorithm that we had like almost 100 more people stop. Oh, yeah. That, see how it use, works, the algorithm? So like sporadic, which is great. I love it. I just want to see something. I don't know where I was when I started. Yeah, I didn't pick up that many subscribers, but I mean, still, I picked up like 10, which was great. Okay, so this and this. All right, so um, is anybody interested in this? I would do this as a one-off. Let me make sure the condition is good. It's like a heavy plastic. Yeah, I want to make sure. There's like one little, there's a little crack right there. Can you see it? Yeah. And, but this is what it is. But it's a heavy plastic. It's not it's not cardboard or paper. Um ten dollars for this. Hess sports utility vehicles and motorcycles. If anybody's interested in this, it's like a heavy poster, heavy plastic poster. Ten dollars shipped. I can roll this up and put it in a tube and mail it out for like three dollars and sixty-six cents. Dances pass. Anybody else? No, they're all passing. Okay. All right. Just wanted to see if you guys were interested in it. Somebody must be at the door. Um. Okay. So. I meant to go out and get those shoes and I didn't. You're, are you going to take off? Uh, what time is it? You're waiting for people. Why don't you do a lot or two while your people are coming? Because okay. she has an appointment. I'll put you on and then I'll I'll get some more stuff together and I'll show okay. while you're away. Okay. Um. I'll do some cassettes. Fine space. You want glass? Okay, I'll try to go put some more glass together. Cajun reseller, Boston, and he spelled it the right way. Two S's. <laughs> yeah, they know how Boston spelled. We've done it before. I know. I like that though. All right, let's see how many we have here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 13, yeah, it's about, I don't know, April will count. There's about 25 to 27 here. 
All right, we'll start this off at uh, fifteen dollars shipped cassettes. Alanis Morissette, Huey Lewis in the News, Michael Jackson, Pearl Jam, The Fix, Eric Clapton, David Sanborn, Led Zeppelin, Billy Joel, Joe Cocker, Rod Stewart, David Bowie, Prince, Elton John, Billy Joel, Chicago, Pat Benatar, Genesis, Genesis again, Michael Jackson, Chicago, Pat Benatar, Bobby McFerrin. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> Mick Jagger, the Eagles, Edie Burkell and the New Bohemians. And you know what? This is another Genesis. It's a duplicate. I'll swap it out. Let me swap it out. Swap it, swap it out. How about we put... I'll put Michael Bolton in there instead. So you don't have three Genesis and two being duplicates just in case you're not a reseller. Unless the reseller buys it and wants the duplicate, I'll swap it back again. All right. Where are we at? We got 19 from Dawn, two hip chicks. Thank you, Dawn. 21 from JRKR. Thank you, Jen. Appreciate it. Gina Chalvin was in first at 15. Thank you, Gina. 27 says April Morris. Thank you for counting, April. All right, let's see if T can do this. Usually it's 25 or less, but we'll see if we can do it. All right, we have Jen at 21. Who wants to come in at 23? All right, Gina says she's out. Dawn is out. Let's go once to Jen at 21. Let's go twice now. And last and final call, fair warning, going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be sold to Jen at $21. Thank you, Jen. I will take the Genesis instead. Okay, fine, absolutely. That was uh, Michael Bolton, right? All right, Michael Bolton out. Genesis back in. So that's a duplicate on that one, just so you're aware. I think you're a reseller, so it doesn't matter. Someone <laughs> robbed my Z24. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> but maybe you had all of those in your Z24. Um, all right, let's do some DVDs. Let's do some DVDs. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five. It's more than twenty-five. Also, we'll, we'll start this at fifteen. Shipped. We've got Alpha Dog, Tropic Thunder, Tom Cruise and M. I two, Hustle and Flow, Reservation Road. Blind Kingdom, Pirates of the Caribbean, Special Edition Titan AE, Paper Soldiers, Hellboy 2, The Medallion, 
Kung Fu Hustle. Bruce Lee, this one's actually sealed from Beyond the Grave. Irisis, the Escort. I don't know. Sahara. Bare Knuckles. Fight Night. Tomb Raider. Electra. The Russian House. The Last Samurai. Complete Series of Birds of Prey. Lucky Slevin. Rules of Engagement. The Return of Master Killer. And the Medallion. Did we have that one already? Why does that one look familiar? Again, if it's a duplicate and you don't want a duplicate, just let me know and I will swap it out. That just looks familiar to me for some reason. All right. We had Shirley Pearl start us off at 15. Loves YouTube at 17. Jen at 19. Loves YouTube at 21. 26 in all. Thank you, April, again, so much for counting. I appreciate it. All right. Let's set these up so I can show you guys the titles all in one fail swoop. All right, there you go. And where are we? All right, Jen and Shirley are out. We'll go once to Love's YouTube. Going twice now. And fair warning, last and final call to Love's YouTube at $21. Going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold to Love's YouTube at 21. Congratulations. All right. Um, more media. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a VHS lot if anybody's interested. Let's um let's start off. I don't know, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12. We'll do 25 and see what happens. 25, a lot of these are in, um, are sealed, but some of them they're sealed because they're uh, previously viewed. We have My Baby's Daddy. We have Hangman. Adam's Rib, Serafina, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, A Beautiful Mind, 15 on this as well, Raise Your Voice, Once Around, Steel Magnolias, for Love of Ivy, Little John, The Graduate, The Heist, When in Rome, The Family Man, Coming Soon, The Debut, Daniel Steele's Kaleidoscope, Rush Hour 2, A Show of Force, 3 a.m., Along Came a Spider, The Terminal, Moonraker. All right. 
Any interest in the VHSs? And April, just confirm, I do believe that there are um, 25 total. All right, that is one. And that is two. And if there's no interest, guys, just type pass and we'll move on, honey. Thank you, Dawn. All right, we'll pass on them. Thank you, guys. All right, Donna, you back? Donna, Donna. Donna, Donna. Hi, honey, you done? Yeah, and it's, it's a minute to three, so I really have to bolt. Okay, all right, go ahead. Okay. All right. If I can come back, I'll come back. Okay. All right. Do you want to say goodbye in case you don't come back? No, it's all right. It's all right. All right, guys. If I don't see you, I'll see you in the morning for coffee. Love you guys. Thanks. Thanks for your support. I appreciate it. Matt, I'm here all the time. The only reason why I, um, I step away is to get more lots. All right. Try to come back. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay, guys, thanks for staying with me. Um, I'm going to do a clash lot. Let's see what I got here. Um, I actually posted a couple of these in my eBay store yesterday because I got a whole bunch of these, and I found two of them sold together for $50. So I did post some of them, but I have so many of them. I'm going to share them with you guys. $25 to start. This one is $19.90. Um, it's an excellent condition. That one's $19.90. And this one, Joy Munkin bought some of these last week. And I have two huge garbage bags full of them. This person collected them. And then there's this one here which doesn't have um, a name on it. Um, it's just a Christmas bear. They collected these Christmas bears, like so many of them. Okay, so those two Christmas bears. And also in this bag of plush is this, which is a Nanco. It's just a dinosaur. It's not plush. It's, um, oh, I got a sneeze. Grapefruit. Okay, it went away. Do you know that trick? You say grapefruit and it goes away. <laughs> um, this is a Walt Disney. Looks like baby's first. It's got a little bell inside of it. Um, this is Cozy Tunes. Oh, I sold one of these the other night. It has... Uh, it has a thing that you plug in. And then the speaker is right here. So you can plug it into whatever phone or whatever you've got and it plays. This one is a kid's, it's another Christmas one. I got a storage unit and they collected all kinds of Christmas. I know it's kind of odd time of year to be presenting Christmas, but I've got so much of it. Um, I don't know what this is. This is a wake me up. Um, rescue pets, wake me up rescue pets. See if it works. I don't know what to do. Hello. Hello. I don't know what to do with it. Oh, it's got this thing here. Anyways, you guys will have to play with it. It's a rescue pet. It's an interactive rescue pets. Um, and the other one in here is a, it's a puppet. It's a bee puppet. And 
this guy here. He says, High Ranch Learning, High Ranch Learning Center. I don't know. Is he a puppet? Yes, he's a puppet too. Whoop, he's cute. So he's a puppet too. He's a chef and he's a puppet. So that's one, two, three, four, five. The interactive pet is six, seven, eight. And then the two big Christmas plushes, eight, nine, and ten. That's all I can fit in the bag because the Christmas plushes are huge. So there's ten of them in this bag. Ten pieces of plush. Ten pieces of plush, and let's see where we're at. They are cute. Gail's at 29. Joy's at 31. Thank you, Joy. Um, I would like to, I, I have those, those big bags. I think I can do joy. How many did I send you three or four? I have the two big bags here out. I'd love to blow those out today. If you guys are interested in them. Um, Joy's at 31. Any else, anybody else want to come in at 33? 10 pieces of plush. $31 to Joy. Please type out if you are out. And rock and roll ain't going to die. Hi. Thank you for joining. I got two creepy dolls. No, you got you got the plush too, didn't you? Didn't I send you your plush, the big teddy bear plush? I thought I packed those up and send them to you. Maybe they're coming today. <clears throat> Wendy's out. We got Gail Murphy at 33. Joy, we got our creepy dolls today. Harley Kitten. 35 from Deborah Swift. Deborah, Deborah Smith. Sorry, Deborah. <laughs> Joy says, no, not yet. She hasn't gotten her plush. Joy's at $37 for the plush. Thank you, Joy. Deborah, do you want to come in at 39? Everyone watching, please give a thumbs up. Thank you, Dawn. Yes, please give a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys. Still 181 of you in the chat, which is phenomenal. I appreciate you all being here so, so much. Um, I sent you a picture of it to your email, Donna. Oh, you did? Oh, okay, to my email. Um, Mad Dog Massimo! Woo-hoo! Massimo's in the house. Let me see if I can pull up the picture that she sent. Do you have my phone number, Harley Kitten? You guys, I'm so much better at text messages than I am. Oh, here it is. Um, Deborah's gonna pass. She's out. <laughs> Do you want me to show a picture of your daughter online, Harley Kitten? <laughs> She's so happy. Donna, did you send plush with the big hello kitty? I think so. Yeah. I'm I'm almost positive I packed it up like a hundred percent. So you should have the tracking number. Maybe it's coming today. Sure, she loves it. All right, here you go, you guys. <laughs> With the creepy doll. And <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to call this to Joy for $37 for the bag of plush. $37 to Joy Munkin. Yeah, it's real cute. She's so excited. She loves it. Let's see the other one. <laughs> Little girl being so excited over creepy dolls. Going once, going twice. And we are sold, sold, sold to Joy Munkin. Look away, look away. $37. Um, lot number eight. Flush. 
to joy. Okay. All right, let me see what's in this bag here. Watch out, Boston. Sorry, baby. All right, I don't know what's in here, but let's we'll discover this together. We'll do it $25 shipped. This is All American Comfort, size 3X. Great size, you guys. Size 3X, All American Comfort, it's called. <clears throat> The next one is the collar is good. Greg Norman, and it is size 2X. Good looking shirt. Size 2X for the Greg Norman. And now we have a nice crisp white shirt. No ring around the collar. Joseph A. Bank, 18 and a half, 33. Feels like it's freshly laundered or never even worn. Feels like there's still sizing in it. Just a beautiful, fresh, clean shirt. And the next one is Banana Republic. No ring around the collar. Extra large. Another nice looking men's pale yellow banana republic size extra large what is out of control wow what a deal i don't know what she's talking about um van Heusen size 17 and a half um, with the laundry tag still in it and even the, the plastic. Nice men's shirt again. Guys, these men's shirts are so expensive in the thrift stores. Extra large Alfani. Alfani. Extra large. And this is like a brushed cotton. It's it's a heavier weight. It's very nice. Very nice condition. Very good looking. That's the Alfani. And this one also, oh, Pronto Uomo. 17, size 17. This feels like linen. Let me see if it's linen. It doesn't say. Oh, here. No, cotton. It's 100% cotton, but it's a nice cotton. It feels like linen, and it's wrinkled like linen. You know how linen wrinkles is so badly like that. Um, woo, this is pretty. Freshly laundered with the dry cleaning tag. And it is a beautiful Tommy Hill figure, size 17. Tommy Hilfiger has a huge following. There's some people. Oh, and it's got the uh, French cuffs. Nice shirt, you guys. Very beautiful. Nice French cuffs on it. Nice, nice heavyweight cotton on this. Well, Tommy Hilfiger always does really nice things. Oh, look it. It's never even been worn. Look what's on it. Oh, wait a minute. It was dry cleaned, so it probably came out of the dry cleaner and it still has the tags on it. Um, okay. <clears throat> and then, let's see, a couple more pieces in here. This one has a price tag on it. This one is St. John's Bay. And it is a size extra large, really pretty blue. And that is a like green, yellow, green, yellow color. And the final one is classics by Palmland size extra large. And it has a price tag on it, a suggested retail price of $36 and it's classics of Palmland. I'm not familiar with the brand, 
but it's a nice um, cotton polyester blend. And that's the color. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five. It's all men's shirts, right? Yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Thank you, April. Ten men's nice shirts. <clears throat> and we have vintage Pat at $37. Susan Arrington comes in at $39. If you have belts, <laughs> I don't have any here. Uh, I might have one bundle here. I, I do have belts. They're at my mini storage. Pat comes in at 41. I don't know if I have, I don't think I have any more of the thin ones. I just have like the bigger ones left. So Pat comes in at 41. Anybody else want to come in at 43? 43 looking for 43 pats at 41 men's shirts 43 from susan thank you sweetheart thank you pat does anybody else want to come in at 46 i have to do the math you know me with numbers you guys $46 is the next bid. You sold a bunch of belts yesterday. I did, Matt. I sold a whole bunch of belts. $45 to Pat. Thank you. $45 to Pat. Thank you so much, Pat. And 180 of you watching. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I keep looking at the numbers and I can't believe I'm at those numbers. You guys are unbelievable. I really, really love you guys so much. Okay, Susan's out. We're going to do it to Pat for $45. Thank you, Pat. That is a deal, deal, deal. Those are beautiful. Wait until you see how gorgeous they are. Lot number nine to Pat for $45. Shirts. Thank you, sweetheart. And thank you, Susan, for bidding. Thank you so much for bidding. I really appreciate you. Chezzy, can you please take these two and put them on where the outgoing is? Please. You know, underneath that table where the outgoing is. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, this is another huge lot. It's all, from what I can see, kids' clothes. So let's get this one done. And this is lot number 10. It's going to be kids' clothes. Jonathan Roseberry with the ice cream cone super chat. Thank you, Jonathan. You're such a great support. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You all are a great support. Thank you so much. Okay. These are a pair of four toddler. So this looks like it might be a bigger size lot. Four toddler Nautica. We're going to start it at $25. Nautica for toddler. Look at how stinking cute those are. They're wrinkled, but they are adorable. And the next one is Carter's two toddler. So it looks like there's a mix. Two toddler on that. My daughter put these together for me. This one is Old Navy and it's five toddler. Five toddler for that. And this next one is... Three toddler. Three toddler on that. And Cindy comes in at 25. Thank you, Cindy. These are Wrangler jeans, and they are size five toddler. Five toddler on the Wrangler jeans. They're wrinkled, but they're freshly laundered. They smell really good. Um, Granimals, four toddler. Four toddler on those. And a t-shirt. It's a Disney one. And it is three toddler. 
So they're all between th two, three, I guess. Most of them are three and some fives. These look like dress pants, three toddler. Little dress pants for church. Very cute. Um, Old Navy. These are definitely bigger and they are size unknown. They're probably five. They're probably five toddler. They look bigger. And this one is, oh, huh. Okie dokie. It's called, it's inside out. It's a little hoodie. Okie dokie. Teenage Ninja Turtles, four toddler, excellent condition. Look at the butt. Looks like it's never even been worn. Those are like brand new. <clears throat> um, Lucky Brand, size two. Do you want the rest of it to be a surprise? Should I stop showing it? Size seven. I mean, you get the gist of the clothes. It's a huge bag. I don't want to bore anybody. This one's five toddler. I'll keep showing if you want me to. These are Carter's. And these look like little pajamas. These are only 12 months. I don't know how those got in there. Um, these are Jack and Cat. Levi's. Cute. How many, Susan? There's a lot. This bag is huge. It probably could've, should have been two, two bags. These are Lee. They've got the adjustable size. Seven slim. Seven slim. I mean, this bag goes on forever. This is Dunk Master. And here is Granimals again. Show them in the bag. Okay. This one is Nautica. That's cute. So there's still this much more in here. Sylvia Polini comes in at 27. All right, I'll try to do fast. Levi's. And here's a turtleneck. Animals turtleneck, and here is Nautica size five, and a little pair of probably size two, yeah, size two. And here's a basketball shirt. Um, that says. It's all about the game. And another pair of Nautica. Another cute pair of Nautica. People are going to be shopping for this stuff, you guys. They can't go out. Here's a pair of Okie Dokies. You could lot up all the size twos, lot up all the size fours, unless you're buying them for personal use. Here's another size two. Here is Velocity, size 7, 8. That's girls. Here is DKNY, boys. Donna Karen, New York. These are Jimboree, and they're, they're beige pants. They're inside out. I'm leaving them inside out. 
This one is awesome. Our solar system. And this one is free planet. Look at how cute this one is with the cars on it. Free planet. All right. And the rest I'm going to leave, leave as a surprise. That's how much more is in there. It's a lot. It should be two lots. So there's a lot of pieces here. I don't know who counted, but there is a ton of clothes here. A lot of brand names. Thirty-five plus. Thank you, April. I knew you counted. <clears throat> Just wasn't sure if he was still here, sweetheart. Okay. Cindy Raymond at $36 for the kids' clothes. Who else is bidding? Susan Arrington and Sylvia. Do you guys want to come in at 38? It's a great lot. That's like a dollar. That's less than a dollar a piece for the clothing. Less than a dollar a piece. You can't even buy that at yard sales. It's great. But I'm grateful. 38 from Susan. Thirty-eight from Sylvia. Cindy comes in at forty. Sylvia, do you want? Sylvia's out. Sylvia is out, and let's see. Cindy's at forty. Susan, what about you, honey? Do you want to come in? Cindy's at forty. 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 Sylvia. Susan's at 42. Thank you, Susan. Um, no, Sylvia said she was out. It's Cindy. Cindy and Susan are the two, last two bidding. Cindy and Susan. Susan's at 42. Cindy's at 45. 45 to Cindy. Susan, are you out, honey? Or you want to come in at 47? Forty-seven to Susan. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. It's a great reseller lot. You can bundle them up. Fifty to Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Cindy, Susan, do you want to come in at 55 for the clothes? S Susan Arrington is out. And we have Cindy Raymond at $50. Cindy, thank you so much. I know who these clothes are going to. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Lot number 10, Cindy Raymond, $50. Okay. So how do you guys feel about taking a, oh, it's 411. How about we take a five minute intermission? Everybody can go and do what they need to do for five minutes and we'll meet you back here at 4. 15. Is that good? Is everybody good for that? We'll take a little intermission. Sounds good, April. All right, we'll go take a little intermission and I have a few more. There's, a, there's still 163 coffee break. I'm going to put some coffee on actually. That's exactly what I'm going to do, Susan. Mad Dog Massimo gives me a, th a thumbs up. Yep. Awesome. Okay, let's take a little intermission and be right back. Thanks, you guys, for hanging out.
Okay, and I'm back. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. Thanks for still being here, and look what I have. What do you think of that? We'll give a couple of minutes in case people didn't come back yet. Let me know 
that you can hear me, you can see me. Melissa, hi, honey. Thanks for coming. Melissa, we had 270 people. I must have got caught up in some sort of crazy algorithm. And yeah, we had we had like 270 plus people in, in the chat. It was crazy. Okay, so they're small, they're 500 piece puzzles. One of them is a hundred piece. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start them off at $30 shipped. And they're all brand new, brand new puzzles. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. There's five. That's the only one that's a hundred. There's six and seven and eight. They're all different. Nine, 10 and 11. 11 puzzles shipped. $35 from Flip and Frozen. I'll show them again. This one's only a hundred. There's one. There's two, there's three, there's four, and five, and six, and seven, and yes, and eight, and nine, and ten, and eleven. Puzzles, 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 puzzles. It's the hot commodity these days. Yes, they're all new, Chris, unopened. They're all sealed. All sealed, unopened. Unopened puzzles. And we are at $42 with Connie. 42 45 from Donna. Thank you, Donna. These are so easy. These will ship. They, they weigh less than a pound. So throw these in a poly bag with a little piece of bubble wrap on them and easy to go out. $50 from Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you so much. We've got Tammy at 50. You guys can come in in $2 increments if you want. Miss Corporate's not here, but she's coming. I hear her. <laughs> 11 puzzles and it's lot number 11. How do you like that? Lot number 11 puzzles. Yep. Puzzles are super hot right now and selling like crazy. I was going to put them on uh, my YouTube my eBay, but I'm going to pass them on to you guys. $52 from Connie. I'll show them one more time. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and 11. 57 to Tammy. It's Tammy accounting and cooking. <laughs> Puzzles. Tammy's at 57. Anybody else want to come in? 59. Sixty to Donna. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Matt. Yes, for doing the math. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. 
I still have 152. Thank you so much. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this. Christine bought this jukebox from me. Look at it. It's all lit up. It's a it's a cassette player and radio. And she just she just sent me a picture. She's got it all set up. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Christine. I love that when you guys send me pictures like that. Thank you so much. So we are at $60. So we're going to end it there, you guys. Anybody else want to come in at 65, 62, 63? What do you think? Yeah, isn't that sweet? It's so sweet. And we're going to call it to Donna, flipping frozen, $60. Anybody else wants to come in? Now's the time to do it. Going once. Thank you, April. Going twice. And $62 to join Munkin. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, sweetheart. $62 to join Munkin. With a huge lot of... These are like as hot as um, uh, masks right now. Yes, Tammy, I'm I'm breaking the rules. I'm breaking the rules. Oh, and I have something. Okay, after I do this lot, I have something I have to uh, announcement I have to make that I completely forgot about until just this minute. And with masks, June, are you still in the chat? June, are you still here? I know you're you're feverishly working making masks. Yes, we can. 65 to flip and frozen. To Donna. <laughs> Joy. <laughs> 65 to Donna. And we're gonna call it. Going once. It doesn't pop up when I put June's name in. She's not here? Okay. 68 to Joy Munkin. Thank you, Joy. Oh, my gosh. Christine B., your house is so pretty. I love it. Look at look at how pretty that is. With the jukebox on the top. That great old piece of furniture. Yeah. It looks awesome. Flippin' Frozen is out, so we're gonna call it to Joy Munkin. Flippin' Frozen comes in at 70. Seventy to Donna. Joy, are you out, honey, or you want to come in at 72? Hurry, she's coming. 75, Joy, comes in at. <laughs> Doesn't it look like a house out of, out of House Beautiful? It's so beautiful. I love it. Christine, are you in the chat? I hope you don't mind me showing people your beautiful home. Um... We did have a place and it felt good. Pamela is blocked. Pamela, who are you? And why is she blocked? Oh, she says, thank you. The furniture is what I used to do for a living. Let me go into my back office one second, you guys, and see why she's blocked. Hold on one second. I don't know why she's blocked. Just take me a moment. You guys chat amongst yourselves for one second. Um, my settings, community, 
Pamela. It must be your device. I don't have you blocked on my end. Pamela, if you can hear me, it must be your device. Because I definitely do not have you blocked on my end. I'm sorry. Maybe try going in and coming back. That happened the other day as well to someone. I don't know. Going once. Flippin' Frozen is out. Joy Munkins in at 75. Going once. Going twice to Joy Munkin for $75 for the puzzles. And we are sold to Joy Munkin for $75. Thank you, Joy. I'll get them out for you right away. All right. Let me put these away, and I'm going to get some shoes. Okay, this is what I have. I threw together a bucket of shoes, $25 shipped. These are brand new, size 10, $25 shipped. Sketchers. Oh, wrong way. So that's the first pair in the lot. And the next pair are a pair of boots, and they're in excellent condition, and they're XOXO, and they're kids. And they're excellent condition, like new, XOXO kids. This is what the outside looks like. No, those were women's. The Skechers were women's, and these are kids. But these are men's, and these are rock ports. Rock ports are a great shoe. The heel has a little bit of wearing on them, on the bottom. Um, they're definitely used, but they're in really good shape. They just need a little um, polishing. And here is a classic pair of um, pumps, and they're called Jojo Cat. And I'm looking to see if they say leather upper. They're size 40, but they're in excellent condition. They got the red bottoms. They're called Jojo Cat. And the heels on them, maybe she's in top chat. I don't know. Um... They're in excellent condition. Patent leather, classic, classic pumps. Here's a pair of hot pink or red. I think they're hot pink. They're called Xparel and they are mid main material and they're peekaboos. Well, I'll show you better, hold on. They're peekaboo shoes. They're very cute. And the heels on them, again, are excellent condition. Let's see what this is. Is this dirt or is this? They've got a little bit of damage in the heel. See it? Where it's peeling a little bit? Right there. So you'd want to photograph that and show that. And the next pair is... This pair, Adidas. Adidas, men's slip-on, size 10 and a half. 
They just need to be cleaned, but they're in great shape. Or take a pink marker, yeah. Okay, there's those. And the next pair is the heels are in excellent condition. And they are Chaps by Ralph Lauren. And there's a dirty sock inside of one. And there's a dirty sock in the other one, too. I told you I don't check my things. But they are in great shape. Chaps by Ralph Lauren. Donna, announcement, please. Oh, yes, I'll make the announcement. Let me make the announcement as soon as I finish this shoe lot. And I'll make the announcement. And then the last pair are Franco Spar Spardo. Franco Spardo. And they are in excellent condition. And the heels on them. Hold on. These are in the way. The heels on them are in excellent condition also. 156. Yes, Janine. Janine, we had 270. It was crazy. Okay, so there's the Franco Spado. That's one pair. There's the Adidas. That's two. Here's the Ralph Lauren. These are great. That's three. Um, here's the Peekaboo. That's four. Here's a classic patent leather. That's five. The Rock Ports. Is six. The boots, the kids' boots are seven. And the brand new Adidas are eight. Eight pairs of shoes. Eight pairs of shoes, and Connie's at $36. Lot number 12. Shoes. Connie's at 36. Re Homer comes in at 38. Susan comes in at 38 also. 40, please, Susan, if you would. Connie comes in at 40. 42 is the next bid that we're looking at, you guys. Great shoes. They're all in great shape, except for those pink ones have a little bit of... Um, you know, I would photograph it. I would photograph it instead of fixing it, but that's me. I would just show it in the picture because you don't want them to like get them and be like, Hey, these were like colored in. So sometimes it's just better to be, um, forthright like that. So Susan comes in at 42, Rehomer 44, Connie's at 44, Rehomer 46 for the shoes. Shoe lot number 12. Connie's at 44 with next bid that we're looking at is $46. Susan's out. Thank you, Susan, so much for bidding. We Homer, what about you? 46 is what we're looking at. 46. If you decide to be out. Skechers, not Adidas. Um, I thought, I thought, didn't I have a pair of Adidas in here, you guys? Oh, yeah. These are Skechers. Yes, these are Skechers. And then the other ones, I think, were, maybe that's where I got confirmed, concern, um, confused. I think these are, were these Adidas? Yes, these are Adidas. Oh, great lot. Okay, Connie gets them for 44. Thank you so much. So Connie, $44 for the shoes. Okay. So this is my announcement. I just talked to um, June. So I'm going to get a new sheet. 
June is offering up the masks that she makes. And I don't know which ones you'll be getting. I don't know if you'll be getting these or if you'll be getting the other ones. But she is going to sell these. And these have the, she puts the wire at the top for bending it around your nose. And then she puts a little pocket in here to put your um, filter right in there. So she's offering these up to anybody who wants to buy for, from her um, for $5 a piece, including shipping. Um, you can give me your order. She has 50 of them ready made. You can give me your order. And since I have everybody's emails, um, I will forward her the email. You're going to pay her. She's going to invoice you. So I'll send her your email with how many you want. So if you order one, it's $5 shipped. If you order 10, it's, it's um, five times 10 shipped. <laughs> but that's including shipping. Okay, Flippin' Frozen. All right, you got to go slow. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. So Flippin' Frozen. Flippin' Frozen wants four. And then Philly Picker. Thank you for being here. Philly Picker wants four. And then Mimi Resells. Mimi Resell is going to take five. Broken Arrow is going to take two. Body and Beta Body and Beta is going to take Body and Beta will take five. All right, I got to I, I got to keep track of how many here. I don't want to go over 50 cuz she said she only has 50. So hold on. Um, I left off at body and beta. Where's body and beta? Hold on a second. Body and beta will take five. Gina. will take two. Um, April. will take one. Harley Kitten will take two. Teresa would like 10. I got to count now. Hold on, you guys. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 20. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Okay, I left off at Teresa. Teresa, okay, loves YouTube. What did I say? I was off at 33. Is that what I said? 33, I think I said. Loves YouTube. We'll take two. You're already over 50 masks. Okay, let's see. Thank you. All right, so let's see. Flippin' Frozen started with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 25, 35, 36, 37. Susan, I'm at 37. How come you say I'm over 50? Flippin' Frozen is four, and four to Philly Picker. Mimi resells at five. Broken Arrow at two. Body and Bay at five. So five and five is ten. That's ten. Um, 18, 19, 20, 30, 2, 34, 36. I'm at 37. Susan, I'm at 37. Okay, let me see where I left off. Loves YouTube is where I left off. 37. Let me go back to Loves YouTube because I just want to go in order. I'm sorry. And if she can make more, we'll offer you more. Let's see. 
loves YouTube too. Matthew Jones. Okay, he's just doing the math. Sylvia. Oh, I didn't mean to decline that, Connie. Call me back. Sylvia. Sylvia, Sylvia, where are you? Four. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. I'm at 41. And Sylvia and Cindy Raymond. Wants four. 41, that's 46. Cindy Raymond and Connie. That's it. 46, that's 50. If she can make more, I'll let you guys know. Connie, I got you in. 40. Uh, for four. I got you in. I got you in. I got you in. So let me just do the math really quick and make sure, you know, one or two is not going to... I'm sure she can whip up one or two more. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-three, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine. I have 49. So let's just leave it at that. All right. And I definitely will um, see if they want $5 shipped. I got Connie. Did you get the three people above Flipping Frozen? Flipping Frozen was the first person I got. Let me see. Did I screw up, you guys? Um, Flipping Frozen. Let me see if I got them. Okay. Oh, I see them. Sylvia. I got Sylvia. I got Cindy and I got Connie. I got them. I got them. And I got Flip and Frozen. I got them. What are we doing? We're ordering. They ordered masks from um, June. Thank you, June. I don't know if you're in the chat. So, yep. So this is who I got. This is who this is who got on the list. And we'll see if she'll make more. But she's, you know, she's working really hard. I mean, they go for a lot more out in the wild. She's just offering these up to our family. Um, because she loves all you guys. So I got Flippin' Frozen, Philly Picker, Mimi, Flippin' Frozen four, Philly Picker four, Mimi resells five, Broken Arrow two, Body and Beta five, Gina two, April one. Harley Kitten 2, Teresa 10, Loves YouTube 2, Sylvia 4, Cindy Raymond 4, and Connie 4. Aw, Mimi Resells. Thank you so much for the super chat. Of course I do this for her. Do this for you guys. This is for you guys too, not just for June. I mean, she's working so hard making them. So I really appreciate you guys all being here. I'm, I'm glad that we can um, do this. April 1 only really need one. I am alone here at home. April, I only really need one. I'm alone here at home. Okay, Matt, definitely. I'll ask her if she can make more for sure. And... Um, Okay. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry, you guys. We'll get, we'll get some more. We'll get some more. And, um, you know, we'll see if, uh, we'll see if we can get her to make some more. She's feverishly, feverishly working them. And then she's going to give me a whole bunch more too, um, that I can give away. 
as free giveaways in all of the next upcoming videos. She said she's going to send me, she said she's going to, I need four. How much? Jonathan, right now we're sold out. Um, but she's sending me a bunch also that I'm going to be giving away. So you guys will tune in. She's going to put them in the mail for me right away. So, oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Yep. We'll just do it again. We'll just do it again when I get them. Okay. So that's for June. So I am going to, um, with your permission, with everybody's permission, I'm going to share your emails with her. I'm going to go through my list and send her all of your emails. So you guys don't even have to um, send your emails. I'm going to take care of that part for her. I'm going to send her in bulk all of everybody's emails. And then she will invoice you through PayPal like I do. And then you can just PayPal her. Make sure that your PayPal address is correct because I'm going to just send her whatever your PayPal address is, is what she's, because it will be a lot of work for me to send her your, um, your email and your uh, addresses. So make sure um, that's really nice of you. It's fine with me to pay shipping. Yeah. So, yeah. So make sure that your PayPal address is correct and it's up to date because that's happened to me before. I've used why I, I won't use people's um, PayPal addresses anymore. The items have come back to me because they had old, they had moved. And um, so, yeah, so um, I'll get this information to her and she'll get these out to you right away. And thank you, June. I don't even think she's in the chat. She's probably working, but thank you, June, for doing this to, uh, for all of our viewers. You're really awesome. And um, Jonathan, I will see about getting you um, in the next batch. Oh, Cindy, my, my pleasure. I'm glad that I can help. She is here. Oh, she is. June, are you here? Oh, there you are. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Good. So, June, I got 50. 50 of them. I've got all the um, information for you. June, you're very sweet for doing this. Awesome. She's sewing away. Yes, as soon as she lets me know when the next batch is available, I'll offer them up again, and we'll do this again. Um, let's see how quickly she can get these 50 done, and then we definitely will do this again. All right, you guys? You guys have been with me all afternoon. It's 4 o'clock. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Um, do you want to see more? Do you want to hang out some more or you want to call it a day? What do you want to do? I'll do whatever you want. You know me. I always have stuff to show. Here, while you're thinking about it, how about I show you this? I don't know if this is marked. Jonathan. Oh my gosh, Jonathan, that was so generous. Should I, do you want me to send that to, do you want me to send that? You are so generous. Thank you so much for that. Jonathan just sent me a cash app. Thank you, Jonathan. You're so sweet. You guys, we have the best community ever. I swear. I did, Jonathan. I just looked at it. Thank you so much. Absolutely. That's awesome. 50 will be done by morning plus 20 to Janine. Wow. Okay. Awesome. Oh my gosh, June, you are working your butt off doing this. All right. I don't know. I have to look at this, you guys. Whoever it helps. Thank you, Jonathan. I will share that. I already told Janine that I was going to um, pay for... What did I tell you I was going to pay for? I was going to pay for the elastic. I'm going to pay for the elastic. So Jonathan just sent me some money to to help. He said to help whoever needs help with the mask. So I'm that will help me pay for the elastic. Thank you, Jonathan. That's so sweet of you. 
because I already told her I would do that. Okay, so I'm not finding any markings on this, which doesn't really mean anything because there was no markings on that other one. But it looks really, really beautiful and very, very special. I'm going to end no help at all, but it fills my heart to be able to help everyone. Thank you, honey. June, my friend's husband has a big head. Can you make one with the bigger elastic? Uh-oh, somebody get that hammo. Melissa. Okay, you guys, I'm going to I'm going to do this as a one-off. Anybody that loves the ocean. Thank you, Mama G. Mama G's in the house. Bam. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay. Look at how pretty this is. This is very, very delicate and very, very pretty. I'm going to do this as a one-off for $10. If anybody's interested, I hear tea coming. Everybody don't talk about her anymore. It's an anchor with the rope and the chain is really beautiful. Melissa Cape, hi honey. Yeah, she was modding for the boss babes, my, my show that I got kicked off of without notice. Those nice girls, please don't even go there. That's what happened. They totally kicked me off my show. It's my show. Never even told me about it. See ya. See you later. But we're not going to go there. Even though I just did. Okay. Tammy comes in at 15. Yeah. Mama G, that's what happened. Yep. Yep. Totally took over my show. Yep. That's okay. I'm with the people that I want to be with right here. It's not important, Matt. It's a show that I started. Yep. Dang. It's absolutely. Yep. Melissa, I had 270. So but I'll take the high road on that. Even though, you know, high school stuff really. I had 279. Did I, Siggy? Wow, that's crazy. Um, it's a beautiful piece, you guys. So $17 to Broken Arrow. Very, very pretty. Melissa Cape is out. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, honey. Make me feel better. Yeah. Not nice. It has a pretty little crystal on the end, too. Shirley Pearl. Hello, sweetheart. Where'd you come from? I haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for joining. Kevin comes in at 20. Thank you, Kevin. You're so sweet. Kevin's here. <laughs> Kevin, where have you been? Kevin, we had 270 plus people in the chat earlier. You missed it. It was unbelievable. It was awesome. We were open champagne bottles and everything. It was great. Oh, just hanging. She's been here all day. Surely. Yeah, Kevin's here. Is there a mark on the chain? I don't see one. I don't see a mark, but you know what? Those those charms that I sold to Dawn, none of them had marks on them that I could see plain eye, but they all tested gold. I, there's no mark. There's no there's no mark. So, but it's a beautiful piece, but there's no mark. So it's it's like buying a twenty dollar scratch ticket. <laughs> Someone said that once. I think it was Robin, which Robin hasn't been here all day. She must have been up all night. Melissa, were you up with Robin all night? She 
She's probably still sleeping. We stay up with Laurie and, and Robin. <laughs> yes, they were, so she's sleeping. Because it's very unusual for Robin not to be here. Cha-Cha, were you up to? Chris the Goose. Okay, let's call it to Tammy for $24. Nope, Broken Arrow comes in at 30. It's really beautiful. She needs to sleep for three days straight. No kidding. There's no markings on it, you guys. It could be just costume jewelry or it could be something else. Like I said, I'm not sure. Lot number 13, Anchor. I pulled it out because the sparkle of the diamonds, I don't know if they're crystals or diamonds, really caught my eye, so I pulled it out. So we are at $30 with Broken Arrow, and we are going to call it for $30. Thirty dollars, thirty dollars to Broken Arrow. And we are up oh, thirty two to Tammy. Thirty two to Tammy. Thirty two to Tammy. Broken Arrow, you out, sweetheart? Broken Arrows out. 32 to Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. $32 for the anchor pendant necklace to Tammy. $32. Awesome. I show the shoes. What else do I have here? You guys want to see dolls? I have some dolls handy. Um, I know you want to see glassware. Let me see if I can put together a couple pieces of glass. Oh, you know what I have right behind me? I have some plush. Let me show you this plush. Okay. Let me show you this plush. Put this here. And, okay, this is a really big bag because this is that plush that I was talking about that I got two huge contractor bags full. Um, here's this bear. It's the Christmas, the Christmas Bear Family. And it's made by 1986. It's this Kmart Corporation, 1986. And you've got this one here. He's big. 1992. And I've got this one here, which is 2008. I don't even know. I, I wonder if they're like pairs. I don't even know. I didn't even look. I just random pulled them out. And then this one is not a year on. Oh, 1991. 1991. Let me get over here. They're cute. 1991. And the last one. So I can do four in a lot. $25 shipped. This one is 2006. 2006. And I can put four in one kilo bag. Four at a time. Four at a time. Anybody interested in the bears? Deborah Smith comes in at $25. 
they're in excellent condition. Whoever had them didn't have them out for display. They have no odors. They're like brand new right from the store. They're like new old stock, and most of them have price tags on them. They're new old stock. Okay, $25 to Deborah Smith. Anybody else? Hello, Marvis. $25 for the four plush, jumbo plush. Anybody else? Jumbo Christmas plush. Anybody, anybody, anybody? 27 to Cindy Raymond. Thank you, Cindy. Joy Munkin, I love them. The bears. Did you get them? 29 to Barb. Did you get them, Joy? Did they come today? Maybe that's why she's saying she loves them. Because she bought, I think, three or four. No. Oh, she just loves them just looking at them. <laughs> Hi, Benji. 29 to Barb. Creepy dolls. Did you get your creepy doll? Did you say you did? I think I have another one of your creepy dolls here. I'm not sure that I still have to mail out. Um, bandanas today? No, no bandanas. Okay, we've got Barb at 29. Yes, I got two. Oh, you got two creepy dolls. Yeah. 31 to Joy Munkin for the bears. 31 to Joy Munkin. Anybody else? Yeah, no, I don't have any bandanas. Donna, what are you doing with masks? Um, so uh, one of one of my viewers, one of my customers, made 50 of them and she offered them up to all of our people in our chat for five dollars a piece. So I just took orders from her and then she sent me some also that I can um give away. Um, as giveaways throughout my auction. So that's what I'm doing with masks. So it's Joy, Joy uh, June, I'm sorry, June. She's very um, generous to do that. So, okay, Joy, $31. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Barb, are you out? Cindy's out. Barb, are you out, honey? 32 would be the next bid. Barb is out. Okay. So Joy, $31 for the four jumbo bears to Joy. Now, Joy, $31. Do you want me to tell you what I have? I can do four in a lot. And I think I can do maybe four lots. Do you want them all? And I'll get rid of them all. Or is that too many? I listed two on my eBay store. Um, it's up to you, Joy. So I'll sell them to you for $31 a lot. Each lot will have four pieces. You decide. And they're all different years and they're all dressed. Or if anybody else wants to come in at $31, Joy says, okay. So you want all four? I think I have enough for four lots. You want four lots of them? Okay, so I'm going to do four lots. All right, thanks, Joy. $31 each. Thanks, sweetheart. All right, so that will be the end of those. And just give me a minute. I know. Thank you, Joy. Um, let's see what's in here. Oh, okay. I have a bag right here I can show and then and then I'll clear my path. And while you do that, I can show. 
Oh, hello. Welcome back. Yeah, they were a little late and I had to eat something. I was starving. You know how that goes, Donna. Yes, I'm going to eat something while you're showing too. We did good. We did good while you were gone. Good. We sold the masks for joy. Okay, good. Yeah, 50 masks. Um, a bunch of people, yeah, a bunch of people ordered the mask. And when she gets more, we're going to re-offer them, which is great. And did you have a chance to um, get some lots together? You have stuff next to No, I can, I can while you show this lot. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna while you finish eating. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll show this lot. But you have stuff next to you that you can yeah, show. Yeah, I, I can grab some stuff. Okay, cool. All right. So, um, did you do any registrations while I was gone? No, nobody new came in. I mean, okay. one, one person came in, but I didn't ask. Um, oh, there's a Cali picker. Um, Cali picker just came in. All right, I can drop the link. Oh, well, Melissa's here. Hi, Melissa. Yeah, and Marvis came in. Ma and Mama G just came in also. Oh, Mama G and Mavis. Ma Mavis maybe didn't register with us. She's been coming in. I don't know if I have a registration for okay. Mavis. I haven't looked. I know she's been stopping in a couple of times. Yeah, I haven't looked. Okay. But we still have 155 people in the chat. Awesome. awesome. I know, right? Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you. Matt just reminded me. Guess who's here? Kevin. Kevin's here. <laughs> Kevin's here? Kevin's here, but you know Kevin, who? Kevin, where the hell have you been, Kevin? You know, you know who's not here? Yeah, I do. Robin. The heck? I don't know. I'm going to call her because now I'm concerned because she usually takes like short I mean, she, naps. She passed on coffee this morning. Unless she's like that exhausted. Did you ask Kevin, were they on late last night? Well, did I ask him what? Was he with her last night? Um, no, but um, uh, Melissa said that they were on Danny Mays until really late. Oh, okay. She's not answering. Maybe she finally went for that drive. No, she's not answering. Yeah, I mean, I left them in Danny's maze probably, gosh, that had to be close to 2, maybe 2.30. I don't even remember now. They were still on, so. Okay, I sent her a message. Call me, I'm concerned, <laughs> is what I wrote. Okay. Oh, and Desert Hunter. So I wasn't sure if Desert Hunters went on last night. Oh, okay. And that was 5.30 our time, which put her at 8.30 in the morning. Um, okay, I don't know what's in this bag. Yeah, Cha Cha says they were up till this morning. Okay, okay, so it's uh, Josephies, Feist, yeah, Feist, thank you. Men's excellent condition, men's suit jacket, like an eBay. Starting kind of missed that tune. You know, because I haven't I haven't listed anything yeah. for months. For I'm, sure. I've only got like 25 things on there. So um okay so that's one. I just want to make sure there's no marker open or anything because they're in great condition. And there's still hangers in here. London fog. These are a beautiful pair of men's. See, these came out of that storage unit with the um, suspenders. See these inside buttons? So these are like high-end men's pants, and these are the types of buttons that they need to use with those suspenders that I think Joy, did Joy buy all those suspenders? I think she did. No, oh, was it Joy? Yeah, it might have been. 1,500 items? What does that mean? So these are London Fog. And I guess that's how many she got listed. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Oh, Jackie. Yeah, Jackie Lotes, um, she should have a wrench. Maybe she's wrenched on my channel. Jackie? Yeah. Who's Jackie? Uh, Jackie Lotes Weber. Donna, my wrench is gone. Where? Oh, Donna, my wrench is gone. Oh, yeah, she's registered? 
I believe she is. I'm double checking the numbers. And Chris, you know your number, Jackie. Chris wants to know if you're having an auction tonight. I think she's taking the night off, but I'm not sure. No, usually we go every other Saturday. I know we did a couple of back-to-back -back Saturdays, but um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take it we're gonna take it tonight. We're gonna be on three times tomorrow. Styles in Italy Cafe. Beautiful women's shirt. It's called Cafe. You guys will have to look it up. Anything that's in Italy, anything that's made in Italy is beautifully crafted. 29 so, now to April Mars. It looks vintage for sure. What are these? These are Juke Box Plus. Juke, Juke Box Plus jeans. Size 22. Size 22. Yes, Jackie Lotz Weber is definitely um, has a number 174. So she's definitely registered. So we need to get her a, uh, a wrench. All right. I'll do it right now. But Jackie, you can bid if you want to bid, honey. It's all right. She's wrenched. She's wrenched. Um, next pair is again with those buttons. Thirty-one from Cindy. Thirty-three from April. From the suspenders, Joseph Bank. Men's nice. The rate will go in here. We might be on till tonight. I know, right? It is tonight. 35 now from Cindy, 37 from April. And then here's another pair with the buttons. Kenneth Cole. Nice, nice, nice pants. Thank you, Jackie. Beautiful. Where's Beautiful. Kevin? Is Kevin here? Kevin's here. Where's Joey? He's out tramping around. You know him. Yeah. You, you know young kids, how they are. Always out tramping around. Yeah, there's no loyalty anymore. One, two. 40 now from Cindy. Three, four. This is a nice lot, you guys. Four, five, and six. Only six pieces, but they're, but they're nice high-end six pieces. Six pieces, 42 to April. Thank you, April. Oh, poor Joey. Melissa, we're just teasing. Yeah, there's certain people we can see. It's Joey's one of them. Oh, Joey, let me see if my like button is working. Did you check it? I don't know. It hasn't been working. I keep pressing it and nothing's happening. Let's see. Guys, I don't know. Is it working for you? It's not working for me. Let's see. Uh, I think it's working. <laughs> I think it's working. Yeah, I think the trolls have been out too. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at how many are down. Yeah, but you know what? That'll go away after the video uploads and processes. <laughs> one of them will go away because they're all trolls. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. It's not like when I got my first one, remember? Oh my God, she never stopped. I know. It was, so was like sick for two days. Uh, now it's like the norm. <laughs> ah, I got five, I got 10. It's all right. It's all good. <laughs> Donna, make sure you like your video. Okay, does that count? <laughs> Callie Picker says it's working. I hit it and it went to 155. <laughs> That's because you fixed it. <laughs> you fixed it. It wasn't working. Oh, it does count? That's interesting. You have to oh, like your own videos. All right. Okay, let's call the close. All right.
And I'm going to try to go and get some more interesting stuff. I know they've been asking for glassware. And I'm going to try to get to that bin of toys up there. I've got an awesome bit of toys. Callie says he, he got it to work. It must have been a man's touch. <laughs> Thank you, Callie Picker. Definitely. Definitely. All right. We're going to go once now to April at 42. Dennis Drew's in the house. Dennis. Hi, handsome. Okay. <clears throat> Who do we have buying them? We have uh, April Mars at 42. All right. April Mars. Going twice now to Dennis at 42. Dennis. Did I say Dennis? <laughs> because now I have Dennis on the brain because you said Dennis. <laughs> A uh, fair warning, last and final call. Sylvia April says, Mars. Sylvia says you haven't made a name for yourself if you don't have thumbs down. That's right. Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold to April Morris. Congratulations, April. I do love you, Dennis. You know that. April, that is a score and a half. I, you probably will be able to sell one pair of those pants and make all your money back. $42. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Oh, Tribal Avengers is here. Hi, Tribal Avengers. Thanks Who for is? Oh, Tribal Avengers, yeah. Yeah, they've been in and out. No, oh, thanks for coming in, guys. Lot 15, $42 to April Morris. <laughs> Myra says, Dennis, I bought all the video lots. <laughs> Dennis, I haven't showed any today, so don't believe them. Okay. Um, are you ready, my love? I am. Okay. And I'm going to go see what I can go put together. And, I mean, I don't know how late you want to go. I mean, we still got 152 people in the chat and they want to buy. So I'm like, you know what? I'm all for it. I've got so much inventory. Okay. Let's just keep doing it. I mean, when you're tired, we'll just, you know, I'm just going to have a ton of work to do. I know. That's the yeah, only thing. You know, because we have three tomorrow. Three lives. Yeah. Yeah. Well, according to you, we have three auctions tomorrow, too, because you told everybody after coffee tomorrow morning we were going to auction a few things off. <laughs> I thought we were doing that this morning. <laughs> I thought we were doing that this morning. Celathon begins. Ring, 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 ring. 24 hours. Hey, Sylvia the fam. How are you? Who do you think will kill, kill us first, my husband or your husband? Ah, my husband's all right. Is he? Yeah. Claudia says, keep going. That is what you said last night. I need to eat something. All right, go. Because I I've, I had that like... Right, you know what? Just before you go, let me just go grab my... I think I left my phone downstairs and I need a magnifying glass because I'm going to do a piece of jewelry. Okay. Go do that. See if anybody wants to register. See if anybody wants to register. Does anybody want to register? Anybody? 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 I'm going to show something that I have here that's really beautiful while she's going to get her phone. It's metal. It's like, I don't know. There's no name on it. No name at all on it. But it's metal. And it's not cloisonne, because I know cloisonne. But it's beautifully painted. Um, it's got a really pretty scene on it. It's all metal. It looks expensive, but I'm, you know, I'm not sure. Like I said, there's no... There's no name on it on the bottom. There's dust, but there's no name on it. Um, it's kind of heavy, so I would have to do at least 30 
on this, put it in a box. It's because it's going to cost me at least 15, 20, even $18 to ship it. Um, what's it called? Fabroge. Fabroge. Oh God. I don't know. Do you have a site where you sell things outright? No, but Yvette, I am thinking about doing that, to be honest with you. Just doing a website where I can just list individual things like this and draw you people to the website um, so that, you know, these things. Dawn said 30. Dawn, so that I can just list like individual things like this. Um, here, I'll show you how pretty it is. It's very, very pretty. This, believe it or not, came out of my fisherman's unit. My fisherman had this. My fisherman um, storage unit that I bought in um, Stewart. He had this, which was very out of character for him to have this. 35 now from Tammy. I thought it was so special. But I don't know anything about it. But you can see, like, the scroll work on it is really beautiful. What's on the bottom? Nothing. No, huh? Just all enamel. Hmm. Just all enamel. Oh, oh, Dennis. Could be Greek. I don't know, but it definitely is beautiful. Could be brass. This could be brass. Any damage? No. Steph's asking. No, no damage at all. It's in perfect shape. It's in perfect condition. 40 now from Dawn. Dawn knows something. Because Dawn buys nice things. Dawn, you've got good taste. They're saying Dawn, it's brass. Huh? They're saying it's brass. It looks like it's brass. Is it painted inside, somebody's asking? No, it's all metal looking. It's all metal looking inside. 45 now from, no, 45 from Dawn. Tell me the wagon a little bit, honey. Melissa, right? No, because, I mean, not that other people don't know stuff, but I, I kind of like have... No, this arrow now at 50. Don't, uh, Dennis, it's sold, honey. What's that? The Santa. You've got to get that Santa out of there. Everybody wants it. <laughs> I kind of noticed, like, when Dawn bids on stuff. Kevin. Really hey, nice. Kevin. $60 from Kevin. Don is out. He's like, Donna, stop telling people that. Because <laughs> then people bid up. 65 now from Broken Arrow. Sorry, Don. I hope I didn't hurt your feelings. Yes, it is an Annalie doll. Laura, are you interested? Um, she may not be for sale. For the right price, she is, Lori. Don't listen to Donna. We'll sell it. What do you want to offer for it? Lori, she's beautiful. I love her. I love her. And every time I show her, no way, Donna. Thank you, Don. Every time I show her, people are like, oh, she's so creepy. I got to show you how beautiful she hey, is. Hey, Benji. Benji wants to see the bottom again, please. Okay. Look at how beautiful. I see. I love Anna Lee because I, I have a history with Anna Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa. Now Melissa sounds like Dennis. It's, just, it's pretty for a spittoon. <laughs> There's nothing on the bottom. There's nothing. I've looked. It's just a painted metal vase. I just got a registration. Okay. Sylvia the fam. All right. Let's give Sylvia the fam a... She 
just wants to register. She lives in the Netherlands, so I can't bid. And when you draw me out of the bag, she's going to give it to someone who can use it or need it. Oh, that's so sweet. That's nice. And Sylvia, it's not that we won't ship to the Netherlands. It's costly. And if you if there's something you really want, we'll price it out for you. We, we're willing to ship anywhere. Thank you for joining us from the Netherlands. That's really sweet of you. Yeah, we're going to give you 338, Sylvia. 338. Yeah, it's expensive. I know. I know. Okay. Is it 10? How do I tell? I don't know. Oh, let me ask my husband, the steel worker. He'll tell me. He'll tell me exactly what it is. Hold on. I'll go find out. Have you got a magnet? Oh, yeah, that might work. That definitely might work. And you have some silver coming up. Just saying. I have no words about the rabbit. Oh, God, I had so many Annalie dolls from my aunt. I didn't really care for them either. They went on eBay. Yes, Sylvia. Yep, simple import pirate ship. Yep. The iron worker can't tell. <laughs> he said it feels like maybe cast aluminum, but he said it's way too heavy to be cast aluminum, but he couldn't tell. Somebody said to put a magnet to it. No, well, she's always listening, Amy. No, nope. she passed away in 1999. How high does it? How high does it bounce when you drop it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't stick to it. Could be brass. Magnets don't stick to brass, right? I don't know. But let's call it. All right. Let's go once to Kevin. No, let's go to Broken Arrow at 65. Sorry. And Hustling the Hustlers, Hustlin just, the came Hustlers just came in at 70. My magnet is sticking to a tub of brass. I do I'm testing it now. Yeah, no, it's not sticking. It's not sticking to this. So it's not metal because a magnet would stick to it if it was metal. All right. Benji's getting yelled at from Broken Arrow. Broken Arrow comes in at 75. Um, so it's not metal. It's Amber. <laughs> um, is it? Brass plate over cast. Your guess is as good as mine, you guys. I have no idea. But this guy had nice stuff in his um his his locker. Push and pull. What does that mean? Magnet will not stick to brass. No, it looks like there's a little, uh, a little friction here between a Broken Arrow and Hustling the Hustlers. She's saying, you already have my son's watch. <laughs> I guess he, he won a watch. <laughs> oh. All right. There's no friends in auctions. Remember that. 
Meanwhile, we have Angie at 75. <laughs> How many bents can you have? Can you put in it? What does that mean? How many bents? What if it's stolen Ming in disguise? <laughs> it's Albert's mom. What if it's priceless? It's got a lot of work on it. AD from Hustling the Hustler. Thank you, Benji. No, nothing. Not a dent on it. It's in perfect condition. It's in absolute perfect condition. Nothing. No dents. Nothing. Nothing on it at all. All right, Benji's at 80. Oh, Benji comes in at 90. She's not playing games here, Benji. <laughs> <clears throat> I already said what I, what it is three times. I'm not going to repeat myself, Dawn. All right, scroll up. Dawn's getting upset. Oh, Dawn, sorry. At him. He said it three times. How come it's brass artisan artwork? Okay, it's brass artisan artwork. Sorry, Don. I missed your I missed your comment. Oh, he got mad there for a second. Sorry. And Kevin's getting mad. Stop running your rings on it. <laughs> My rings. <laughs> Everyone pay attention, sis. Susan. Susan. Everyone pay attention. No one's paying attention. Oh, dear Lord. You get an antique guy to look at it. All right. We're going to go once to Broken Arrow at 90. I told you Don knows his stuff. <laughs> Didn't they tell you? All right, Benji said, Amber, it's all yours. I'm out. Going twice now. Fair warning. Last and final call to Broken Arrow. I'm going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold to Amber Broken Arrow for $90. Thank you so much, Amber. Congratulations. Lot number 16. All right, sugar pie, honey. I'm going to take a little break. All right. Put some stuff together. Have a little bite to eat and be back. So do like three or four lots. Yes, ma'am. And I'm worried about Robin. I just te texted her again. She didn't respond? Well, I just texted her again. Oh, Steph's universe chimes in. I think that vase is worth a lot of money. <laughs> Thanks, Steph. Whoops. That was not the vase. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That was a plastic container that's under my desk. Jenna says, get my do lot. I don't know if I have it in the garage. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to, if I have, I'd have to move all those surfboards to get it. Dennis, I don't know if I have it in me. Maybe tomorrow, sweetheart. All right, I'll see what I can do. I know where it is, but it's behind like five surfboards. And we're not just talking like little surfboards. I'm talking long boards. If you know what long boards are, that's what we have is long boards. Is Jonathan Roseberry still in the chat? Jar of surfboards, right, John? Jonathan, why? want to thank him for his backdoor super chat. Oh, uh, he's such a sweetheart. Money bags. Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> I don't know if he's still here. Yarn maybe, Siggy says, says. I think I can give, I think I can reach the yarn. I'll try. First, I'm going to eat. All right, you, you go and let me see what I can get to. And I got to clear a path too. So let's go surfing, says Dennis. Let's go surfing. Surfing in the USA.
You're up. All right. Let's go. All right. You know what? Let's, I promised a little silver. So let's do this. Um, this is a pendant. Let me just take a look at my magnifying glass here because there is something written on it. I just want to read it, tell you what it says. Get my magnifying glass up. This is what it looks like. And, well, maybe you can see it on the camera here. I don't know if it's not light enough or it's too light. I'll put my magnifying glass in and tell you exactly what it says. It says T-O-W-L-E Sterling, copyright 1982. T-O-W-L-E Sterling. And that's kind of where it says it at the bottom. Sorry about the glare. It's very bright in this room. That's the one side. And everybody jokes at me when I start my pieces off, like the Tiffany. But we'll start it off at $8 because, I don't know. $8 ship to start. Okay, Melissa. Thank you. Yeah, it is. It's large. All right, Benji starts us off at 8. Chris goes right to 20. All right, now I'm scared again. <laughs> So glary in here. So glary in here. Is it a Christmas ornament? Is it? I don't know. I mean, to me, it just had this little ring on it. I just, it was with jewelry. So I just assumed that it, but I guess it could be. I guess it could be an ornament. Why not? Heidi comes in at 22. It says towel, T-O-W-L-E, Sterling, copyright 1982 at the bottom. If you guys can see that. Let me see if I can pull a Chris the Goose. I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure. Let's see. Figure out how to do it. Let's see. Not sure I can figure out how to do it, but we'll see if we can do it. How much for the phone? How much for the phone? Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> you're funny. Ha ha. Ha ha. All right, we have Heidi at 22. All right, let's go once to Heidi at 22. Thank you, Susan. Going twice now. And fair warning, last and final call to Heidi Leslie for 22, going once, 
going twice and ladies and gentlemen we are now sold to Heidi for $22 thank you Heidi thank you thank you all right I'm going to try these um these are vintage Charlie Brown a and W all right Charlie Brown peanuts I guess vintage peanuts mugs. There's three of them. Tell me what you guys want to pay for them. All right, April wants to start us off at 8. 10 to Cindy. 12 to April. Fourteen now to body and beta. Sixteen to April. Made in the USA. Super twenty two is what it looks like it says made in the USA. April's now at 20. Flippin' Flamingo's at 22. Body and bait is out. Twenty four to April. Cindy says she's out. All right. Who are we down to? April and flipping flamingo. We have twenty four from April. Flamingo is out. All right. Let's go once to April. It 24 <clears throat> and we'll go twice now and fair warning last and final call for the peanuts a and w mugs to april for 24 dollars going once going twice and ladies and gentlemen we are sold to april for 24 dollars thank you april thank you everyone who was bidding all right we'll do um shh don't tell donna we'll do a dibble box or a mishmash box <laughs> We'll do a we'll do a a, a miss a, a miscellaneous box, <clears throat> and let's start it off with I have this um this is a pick pickard China gold encrusted sugar and creamer bowl, and we're gonna start this box off at twenty five dollars shipped. This is the bottom of this. Pickard, China, made in the USA, 598 stamped on the bottom. The sugar and the creamer. If you guys want to know the height on this, I did have my measuring tape here someplace. I do, I do, just so you know how high it stands. Um, to the top of the sugar top, you're at four and a half inches. The creamer at the highest point is three and a half inches. And again, that's the sugar and creamer. Then in that lot, we're going to sell this beautiful Zynga. You know who this is. I never can say the name right. Ermendula Zynga. I just know it is Zynga. <laughs> really pretty. Zynga tie. And then we're going to have this cool little Easter 
um, bunny. Here's the bottom. Bunny Beat Royal Dalton Tableware. Golden Jubilee Celebration playing the guitar. Oh, don't call it that. I'll get in trouble, April. Just call it a mismatch or a <laughs> reseller lot. And then this, the box is a little beat up on this. This is Iron Man 3 Marvel. It says Titan Hero Series. I have two of those, actually. Um, are they, I think they're both the same, too. Yep, they're both the same. Iron Man 3 Marvel. Again, the boxes are not, you know, they're, they're a little dent, dinged and dented. That's what happens when they throw this stuff in st boxes and storage units and pile things on top of one another. And then we have this little, little monkey. Little monkey. There's no tag on this monkey, so I can't tell you what it is. But it looks like it was hanging somehow, maybe from the car window or something. And there's a couple of little knicky necks in here. 3D brass ornament. It's a snowman. And a Yule Wright. It's just a little picture frame ornament. And then there's a magnifying loop for anybody who needs one. I have this little, this says, You are special. And that is Quarry Critters. Quarry Critters is the name of that. These are Dr. Comfort's multiple inserts. And I've got one, two, and three of those. It says... Uh, Fits men nine to women's ten and a half. And there's two pairs in each. Each one has two pairs. And so you, you get three of those in the box. And somebody just asked about a Christmas tree. So let's throw in this awesome little, it's like this little Christmas tree. That's on hinges and it opens up to this little scene with Santa by the fireplace and the stairs with the little children or child. No, it's children. Okay. It's really cute. It's on a hinge. Um, I don't know. It looks like it's not really branded at all. Um, that was that. And then there's this hat. It is... Iacono inked press air and vacuum system innovative assistance. It's got the strap back here. And this is ouch, a broken finger now that I crushed my finger in it. Elizabeth Arden. Elizabeth Arden. Oh my God, I really got my finger caught in there. It's just a mirror. Wow, killed my finger with that. That was so crazy. So, so crazy. And this is a styling company. Um, looks like it comes with a little change purse and some inserts. Never been used. Still has its little thingy hanging on it. But it does look like it's been a little crushed. Again, when these people with the storage units, um, it is like wrinkle. Unless it's supposed to be like that. It, it is very soft. So you got that. And um, we've got a Betty Crocker um, pizza wheel. Slicing whatever. And this is a glitter golds. Glitter golds. Uh, glitter kit. I don't know. Don't know, don't know. I'm not a I'm not a makeup fan per se. Oh, and actually that's hair. <laughs> that's hair. That is looks like it's uh 
colored hair blue. It's still sealed in there, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, it's some kind of some kind of it. I know, Sylvia. I probably could. <laughs> oh man, the tree is great. It is, right, Pat? Right. And this is it's like it's Avon, whatever it is. It looks like some Avon. Again, it's sealed. It looks like a makeup carrying case, and it's got this blue with flowers. And we have Jolene at 37. Thank you, Jolene. Oh, these are interesting. Let's look and see what these are. I hear silver. I don't know if it's silver, but there's spoons in here. Let's see what these are. These are... I need my magnifying glass. Hey, Michael Thornley. How are you? This is community. This is a community. That's the name, brand name, community. Doesn't say if it's silver. It certainly looks tarnished like it could be silver, but I don't want to say for sure. I don't see a stamping for silver. But this is what they are. And again, it says community on the back. So that's that. Well, a couple of Christmas things in here, but you know what? Christmas, who knows? It is International China Christmas Ribbons. Like a little candy dish. International stoneware made in Taiwan. So yeah, you got a, got a couple of Christmas things in there too. And this little balloon doggy, it says 1981 Lucy Rig, license Inesco Import Corp. And that's that little. A bottomless box. Absolutely. I always do bottomless boxes. Always, always, always. All right. So we're going to put it back in the box. We'll see how much room we have. And I've got to leave a little room for packing because there are a little bit of breakable things in here. So again, you got the monkey, you got the two Iron Men Marvel figures, you got the hair, you got the funky hair, you got the wallet, you got the hat, you got the You Are Special by Quarry Critters. Keychain. The silver, well, I don't know if it's silver, but the Community Spoons. The Avon Cosmetic Bag. The Tree Candy Dish. The Glitter Goals. The Betty Cracker Pizza Cutter, the Brass Snowman, the Picture Frame Ornament, the Loop, the Elizabeth Arden Mira, Oh, look, you can see my other side of the room. See all my numbered bins there? <laughs> and you got the Bunny Beat Strumming Guitar. The tie. The 
Christmas tree. And the picker China Gold Creamer and Sugar. And one, two, three sets of the heatable mold heat moldable inserts nine to ten and a half so you got three pairs of those all right that's what we got in that box oh do you love youtube yeah all right, let's go once to Wynette at 39. First steal of a deal. Steal of a deal. All right, we're going to go twice now. Yeah, I don't know, Amy. It doesn't say on it. And fair warning, last and final call to Wynette for $39. What? Going once, going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold to Wynette. Congratulations, Wynette. Thank you, honey. All right. Let's see what we got next. Um, you know, let's see if there's any interest in this. These are decorative bags and stickers. Um, they've got a summer theme to them. Hopefully, they're uh, bullseye playground. Hopefully, if we get our summer back and somebody wants to have some kind of party theme, these are party bags, paper bags with stars and anchors. Then there are matching gift bags with stars and anchors. And then we have other gift bags with blue stripe and life rafts. And gift bags with stripes and life rafts on it. And each pack has two in a pack. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. You've got one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. And on these, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're starting to see a pattern, which means there's 18 of these bags. So nine packs, 18 of those. And the nine packs, there's four each in here. So you got 36 of these little ones um, twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So all of them have um, a nine. And Diane Matthews, how are you, Diane? Diane comes in at 15. Jackie's in at 20. Diane's back in at 22. So again, this is the bags. And then they all come with these anchor stickers inside. You can put on the bags, I guess, or you can do something else with them. 
and then they kind of go hand in hand with the anchor on one side of the bag and the stars on the other. Difference is these are red stars and these are blue for your red, white, and blue. Maybe you're having a, a nice party on the water or just a 4th of July celebration or who knows, setting up some goodie bags. Or, of course, a reseller lot is always good, too, for somebody else who might be doing that. And then, again, these gift bags have the red stripes and the red life preservers, and the bags are the blue, again, for your red, white, and blue. And that's what you got. So you got 36 and 36, 72 paper bags and stickers, 72 each of the paper bags and stickers, and then you have um 18 and 18 of the so 36 uh bags in total on here and that's your lot that's what you got and we have 24 from jackie thank you jackie u.s navy event yep there is a question above question what would you use to ship pirate ship which is the united states post office but they have a very um, a flat kind of rate to in, for international shipping. And we can always price those things out for you, um, Sylvia. And if it's something that just doesn't work out for you, we'll just bring it back to auction or I'll go to the bit, backup bidder if you happen to win something. But I'm willing to do that for anybody who wants to buy internationally. Thank you, Janine, for bringing that to my attention. And Diane is now at 26. Thanks, Diane. Thank you, Jackie. Hope they allow us lockdown by 4th of July, I know, so we can enjoy our freedom. Absolutely. All right, Jackie says she's out. We'll go once to Diana, 26. And we'll go twice now. And fair warning, last and final call for $26 to Diane. Going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are now sold to Diane for $26. Congratulations, Diane. All right. Let's see if you guys want to do um, some more books. I'll grab some more um, vintage books I have over here. Let's see what I got. Vintage or and or signed and or special. Let's see what we have. All right. We'll make it an even 10 in this slot. Okay. All right. Looks like I pulled a little Shakespeare here, too. All right. First one is called The Zen of Gambling. I don't know what's really special about this book, but it was a book I kept. Maybe worth something. I probably looked it up and thought better to keep it. Uh, it's a first edition. Not signs, just special. The Zen of Gambling. The next one is called Horace Mann by Williams. And uh, it looks like, with compliments from the author, it looks like there's a couple letter. Let's see. Mr. President, honored guests. All right, this, so there's a, a typewritten letter in here. There is Letter to School Children from Horace Mann in here. Horace Mann, the great American educist. That's uh, another thing in here. And I know we, we know how to read script, but this is really old fashioned, like pen, ink, inkwell pen. This volume has a place on the bookshelves. Von, J. Von Leuven, Franklin residence garfield street please return oh okay and then oh matthew j oh and here's his photo 
Um, I guess this is the person who had the book. I guess he got a, an acknowledgement here. And uh, I always start my book lots off at 20. You guys can take them where you want to take them. Uh, this one... 1937. Thank you, April. Thanks for helping, April. Appreciate it. Set up and printed from type, published May 1937 by the Macmillan Company. So that's that one. I'll come with all those letters and papers and things in there. All right, so that's that. Next one we have... Shakespeare. It is the owner was Charles Wade of Boston, Massachusetts, October 1926. I always like to show you when there is uh, any kind of writing in the book. Shakespeare's Works, Volume 10, Twelfth Night, Much Ado About Nothing. And it's 1894. And that's that one. It says, wait, that's the owner who's printed on the inside um, of the book. And this one is called The Affair. It's called The Affair. And it is C.P. Snow... 1960. And that's that one. This one is The African Queen from the Modern Library of the World's Best Books. And it is a second edition by Random House 1940. This one is Don Quixote, the Arlington edition. Oof, and this one is falling apart. So I'll be really careful. It is very yellowed, this book. I don't really want to touch it too much, but I do want to give you guys a year. So let me see if I can find a year. I'm back. All right. No year. Um, but that's that one. The next one is uh, from Franz Kafka, The Penal Colony. It's got a book page in it. Shocking books. And second printing, March 1949. This one is called The Things That Are Not There. I think this one is signed, if I remember correctly. It is. It just says enjoy, signed by the author. That's that one. And then we have Shakespeare and Masculinity, Oxford University Press. Dawn is in at 25. Never read. And this one is... Oh, this is a new one. This is 2000. Still considered 20 years old, but it is. And this one is the Cambridge History of English Literature. Fourth North to Drayton. And $100 for 15 volumes, according to something in here, but we'll just leave it at that. Cambridge History of, and it's the London Cambridge University Press, and it's 1932. All right. Kevin wants to see the Don QX book again. Okay. Don Quixote.
He said, open it. I did open it. <laughs> open it more. Getting bossy there, Kevin. I just, I don't want to touch it too much because it's really flaky. It's definitely, um, it's definitely uh, flaking off. He just wants to see the next page. Next page. Okay. It's see it's tearing. I, I need to do it. There's definitely some writing in the back too, just FYI. Six hundred and ten pages, I can tell you that. All right, Jackie's at 27. Thank you, Jackie. Dawn's in at 30. All right, well, you guys are still thinking of that 30. I think for some reason this one book I have I have a mate to it. Let me just see. I think I do. I think I remember seeing another one somewhere. No. All right. I thought I, I might have had another one of those. The one that was volume 10, I thought I had a different volume. I do find it, though. I'll be happy to include it. I do find it. I'll be happy to include it. And Jay Smooth finds us in at 32. Thank you, Jay. <clears throat> Forty now from Dawn. Now that I ate, I'm sleepy. I know, right? The really sleepy. Forty-five now from Kevin. Well, we can call it whenever you want to call it, honey. Well, I brought out one, two, three, four more lots so <clears throat> i'll show them what i have here and then we'll call it okay yeah because we got tomorrow tomorrow's a big day and i got more of these lots too i'm gonna go dig more because i know i have more if i do find that match on uh, the one i'm talking about um is this cambridge one I will absolutely promise to include the other one that I have, um, this the Cambridge History of English Literature. Oh, actually, this says four. I think I have a couple. I, I gotta look. I gotta look. I have a box somewhere. I know I've seen. I know I've seen a, a different one. <laughs> Fifty now from Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you, everyone who's bidding, Jackie, and Jay. I appreciate it. 
Thanks, Lori. Christine B wants me to go get a cup of coffee and keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Look who's talking. The one that flat leaves us the minute we go on last night. Oh, good night, everyone. <laughs> oh, well, she wasn't feeling good. I know. I'm teasing her. All right. Well, maybe you can make a deal with Kevin. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have things probably shipped out to both of you that I could probably give Finagle a deal. All right. Let's go once to Kevin at 50. Hey, LJ. Thanks for coming in. You both need rest. <laughs> going twice now. When are we have listen? I'm glad you asked, Joy, because we're going to talk about that. We're definitely going to do one at some point. We just have to figure it out. What's up? To do another marathon auction. Mm. Oh, the Horace Mann one, probably, right? Is that the one? No, will you guys talk about it? All right. Fair warning, last and final call to Kevin, going once, going twice, and ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Kevin, never-ending saga for $50. Thank you, Kevin. <clears throat> okay, I'll go up? Yeah, okay. Okay, so um, I found the teapots, but I couldn't find the saucers. I need to get to it, and it's just its too much. But I did put together two um, separate dish lots. So I'll show you what I have. You guys let me know if you're interested. Um, the first one is this one. This is called The Art of Choking. Oh, and there's Jonathan. Jonathan, I called you out before. Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. And that's that one. And then also in this lot is a Thomas Kincaid Moonlight Cottage. And it's the saucer and the teacup moonlight cottage thomas kincaid it's the matching what are you starting this one what lot what number by the way are you up to because i wasn't here i'm up to 17. okay and then these are i have to look hold on these are Hand painted, made in China, and it's Mito China, M E I T O, Mito China. And I just want you to know that this one has a chip. And what were you starting this off at? Let's start it at $35. $35 chip. Really involved to um, pack up and ship. So, which one is it? This one has the chip on it right there. This is Mito China. There's one, two, Three, four, and five. And it's called Mito China. And Laurie, I have so many plates. They're just a nuisance to pack. This one is got a chip stone china victoria pattern boots england 4349 with a small chip in it and there's the chip and there's the plate can't see the chip from the front it's not visible at all and the next one in this lot is it's P R U F S I A P R U F S I A and there's the dish
The next one is you gotta look it up. S C H W A R Z B U R G German. That one. And the last one in the slot is this one. And it is Royal Stratford. Hold on one second. Wipe it a minute. Bone China Royal Stratford. <clears throat> Made in England. No chips. It's beautiful. So in this lot, you get one. Two, three, four, the Thomas Kincaid, the choking, and then these one. I can't remember what these are called. Two, three, four, and five. All right, $35 ship for the lot, guys. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the teacup and saucer. Eleven. Always eleven. And if you're not interested, it's fine. No hard feelings. I will list them. Um, do I have a pass? Should I pass it? Do you guys want to pass? Let us know. It looks like they want to pass. Yeah, I don't see any activity here. Okay, I'm going to pass it. We're going to pass it, guys. I'm going to pass it. That's myself. it. Once I pass, it's gone. Okay. This one here is fine English table. It's gone for now, D. We'll bring it back another time. Church Hill made in Stratford, England. And it's one... Two, three, and four of the same. And then there's two of these. And this one is Johnson Brothers, England. Johnson Brothers is a good company. Johnson Brothers, England. And there's two of these. Are we starting this at 35 too? Uh-huh. All right. Johnson Brothers, England. So you've got two of those. And you get four of these. And then I will include these from this morning. You get these little butter dishes. And they are um, Austria. And they're numbered. So there's four little dishes of that. And then you get these here, which are... Baronet China. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six of the Baronet. Maybe no, cups to go with those plates, Kevin. No, no, these no, there's no cups with these plates. These just came like this. These looks like they had them hung on, on the wall. The set of two blue willow.
These are Willow, the Johnson brothers. They don't say Willow on them. They look like it. They certainly look like it. Johnson Brothers. You can look up Johnson Brothers. It's an old English company. And then four of these. Two, four, and then four, and six. No interest. Just type pass. We'll get rid of them. No, they're not Willow. If they said if they were Willow, they'd say Willow. Okay, pass. All right, let me just go put them someplace safe because I know me. I'll knock them over. All right, we're going to pass on that one, guys. Glass is tough. I had someone reach out to me that wants to buy all my glass. I don't know. I think I might just do it. I don't know if I want to list it myself. I have so much of it. And it's all really special glass. It's not like just everyday run-of-the-mill stuff. Right. Okay, I have these posters. Are you guys interested in posters? I'll show you what I have. They're all um, Smokey the Bear. There's Some of them are a little bit tattered on the edges. Um, I don't know if there's a resale value for these. Never looked them up. Found them in a storage unit. I'll show you what they are. Let me line them up. They're Smokey the Bear. And this one has leaves. How am I going to do this? Hey, Clementine Creek. How are you? And I'll do these $25 shipped also. That one has leaves. They're all Smokey the Bear. This one has trees. I'm struggling with this. This one has fish. This one has butterflies. We're good, thanks. We've been on a while, but we're good. We're here six hours. This one has bugs. They're all Smokey the Bear ones. Any idea on size? Hey, Edwin. No, but I'll measure them for you in one second. Let me show you all. And what do you want to start this at? Let's start it at 25. All right. This one has, I don't know. Succulents, plants, and the one's going to come in at 25. This one has different nest. That's cool. Yeah. All different yeah. Nests. Did you hear from her, by the way? No. Nope. And the last one has mushrooms, fungi. All different mushrooms. I'll smoke you the bear and I'll measure them for you. I mean, they're big for sure. Hold on, I'm trying to be very careful with them. Where's my tape measure? Here it is. So they are, I'm going to probably say 36 inches long. Let's see. Oh, that just hit me in the eye. Okay, so they're 31 inches long, approximately, 
and I'll tell you how wide they are as soon as I roll them up. So they stay Guys, we have a $2 increments till we get to 50 and then it's five. We have Dawn in at 40. All right, almost there. Okay, and they are. Hi, Massimo. Approximately twenty inches wide. So twenty ish by thirty ish. They're cool. All right, Tina says she's out. You know who does really well with posters? He sells them like crazy is um, Dominic. He sells posters like crazy. He does this whole little thing. He did this whole little video. What, what he does is he uses like white painted rocks and he puts them on the corners to, you know, have to have um, them. The back. Yeah. He uses like, if it's a white poster, he'll use like white painted rocks. If it's a black poster, he uses like black painted rocks and he just puts them on the corners so you don't even see them to hold them down. Oh, wow. Yeah. Susan, pay attention. Susan, seriously? You don't Susan, know. pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> there, so it's mushrooms, trees, leaves, butterflies, bugs, um, like succulents. Like it's all different. It's smoky. Um, it's smoky. Uh, smoky bear. And they're just all different like nature nature pictures like to teach you the different the different trees in nature the different leaves oh there's one on leaves um there's one on butterflies there's one on bugs there's one on fish yeah the fish one was really nice wasn't it kevin yeah there's one on fish i know i wouldn't know they would sell that much the, bot the botanicals, yes, botanicals and animals. Edwin Diaz, do we have a registration for you? We don't have a wrench, but I don't know if you're wrenched. You might be wrenched on my channel. Are you registered? Do you have an auction number? If not, let me drop the link and you can send a quick registration. Oh, wow. April said they sell for about $30 each on eBay. That's awesome. Thank you, April. Are those sold, April, or listed? I've sent an email. Okay. All right. Let me double check, hon. Let me double check. No worries. All right. We have Edwin in at 42. Wow. Sold. That's awesome. All right, you guys. How many was there? Do you, do you know, April? Did you count? I'm trying to get them all to line up. Yeah, we have Edwin registered, so we're going to have to wrench him and give him an auction number, and we're going to take Edwin's bid at 42. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them, I think without opening them up. Um, 339 is his auction number? Uh, his auction number is going to be, yes, 339, Edwin Diaz. Just making sure. And he is at $42. 
going once. Oh my gosh, and one sells for 30. That's pretty awesome, Edwin. Dawn is out. Any other interest? We're going to go twice now to Edwin. Edwin comes in and swoops this deal up. Last and final call. Going once. Going twice. And ladies and gentlemen, we are sold to Edwin. Edwin, sorry, for $42. Congratulations, Edwin. Congratulations. Awesome deal. All right. And just make sure you wrench him. I don't know if you did or not. I did. Okay, good. All right. I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to get this one. I have a whole bunch of posters, you guys. Uh, again, this is stuff that I was thinking about listing, but I never did. Um, this one is in excellent condition. From the Director of Internal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind and Science of Sleep is the most who is tall, happy, animated conversation with, I have no idea who these people are. Noam Chomsky, a film by Michael Gondry. So this is a film poster? Sundance, yeah, it looks like it was at Sundance. I've got a bunch of movie posters coming from the 60s. I don't know if I'm going to bring them to auction, though, we'll see. Okay, so if anybody's interested in this one, I will do this one for 15 shipped if anybody wants it. I can put this in a tube and ship it for probably like $5, right? Okay, Kevin, thank you. Can this go media mail? Is this considered advertisement? Film posters, film posters. I'll have to check. I don't know. I've never mailed film posters before. I'm going to become an expert in it in the next month. Any interest, you guys? No? Okay. Um, then I, should I not bother showing the rest of the posters? Maybe? All right, I'll show these. I'll show these last ones. These are more like prints. This one is um, Pena, Dallas, Texas, Husan's Gallery. Hold on, let me move over. Oops, there goes that one. Okay, let me show you this one first. If anybody wants to look it up, that's what it looks like. There's that one. And then there's this one. Goldwater Gallery of the Southwest. This one looks like it's signed. That looks like it's Sharpie. Oh yeah, it's signed and numbered. I should probably be a little bit more careful with them. I didn't notice if the other one was signed in number. Oh, no. It's not numbered. But that side looks like it's signed. It looked like numbers. Does anybody know anything about these artists? Goldwater Gallery of the Southwest Art Show Posters. I have no idea. I found them. Well, I didn't find them. I paid for them. But they're storage unit finds. No? Yes, Sylvia. Yes, from Mr. Buys a lot. Yep, of course. Where else? And then these... Is that one? And 
on that one. Any interest at all? I'll have to look them up. I didn't look them up. And then I have these too. There's several of these. I feel like I'm doing show and tell. Boeing 747. Are they dated? No, Jackie. I don't see any dates on them. And then this one. Thank you, Sylvia. Okay, I'm done showing posters. They don't want posters. Nobody, no interest, guys. Dennis says he likes the plane. Somebody else says Native American lists high on eBay. Any, any interest at all? I'll look them up. Donna's going to end up listing these on... Uh, I'll look them up because those are pretty easy to photograph and, and list. Dennis wants to know how much. For which one? The plane I think he liked. The two planes? I have two planes. Um, I don't even have any idea what they're worth for the planes. Want to do $20? Shipped? Shouldn't cost me more than five or six dollars to ship out, right? I mean, they're light, they probably could go first class, right? Although they're tall, I don't oh, know, they're kind of heavy, they're really thick. Oh, all right, so yes, Dennis says, Oh, Sylvia, they're easy to ship, they just ship them in a tube. Yeah, you got to buy those little those tubes. They actually, the post office has tubes too, I think, right? Don't they? I think they have the first class tubes I might be able to use. Okay, Dennis, you Connie want... says 22. Connie says 22. Thank you, Connie. Connie's not supposed to be buying. <laughs> yes, they have free ones, says Marie. So, I wonder if those will fit. I know which ones you're talking about. The um but there's priority ones. The, the boxes are free, but you got to pay priority shipping then, right? Yeah, I'll have to pay $7 or no, whatever the weight is. No, oh, yeah, because it's not a flat. Who's Get saying? ready to ship out there, Kev. What's he talking about? <laughs> All right, we got Connie at 22 for the planes. Or does she want the Navajo? Which one was she bidding she on? She wanted the planes also. She was interested in the planes. Okay. Donna, uh, do you want to come in at 24 on the planes? The planes posters? Where? Who's Santa? Can't posters go media mail? I don't know, Tammy. He said, never mind. So Connie to 22. No, posters are not medium mail, says this mail person. Oh, you're never going to believe what I found, Kevin, when I was looking for the teacups. You know how there was two teacups missing from your set? I found them. So now you have the whole set. They were in a different box. Okay, good. So then you could send them with the Santa. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I might be able to. Yeah. Where is Santa? No, Santa's right here. Santa fell down. I didn't put Santa in the kitchen. Santa's right here. Just stay right there. I'm in no hurry. Just invoice me. All right, honey. Thank you. In priority triangle. Yeah. Yeah, I have them. I have those. Santa is drunk. <laughs> he fell down. 
By weight. Okay. So Connie's going to get the um, Boeing ones. Does Sylvia work for the post office too? I don't know. She seems to answer a lot of post office questions. 22. Trying to get away from that creepy rabbit. <laughs> right, Tony? <laughs> Laurie, you like my rabbit? <laughs> the rabbit kicked him. <laughs> He's been on the vodka. He's been into the vodka. Uh-oh. <laughs> into the vodka. All right, let's do this last lot of clothes. And I think I've had it for today. I think six hours, almost seven hours is a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't you? Uh, yeah. And, and our coffee time this morning at another hour and a half. <laughs> okay. $25 to start. Polo by Ralph Lauren. Nice pair of men's creamy white pants. And they are size 40. Very nice looking. $40 for those. No, not those, but these are Izod flat front. And they are size 32. Izod flat front. This bag is really big. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, these are Levi's 501, 3432 black jeans, 501s. And next we have, uh, they're just faded glory, bread and butter, faded glory jeans, men's, men's faded glory, not women's. That's why they're so heavy. 25 from Cindy Raymond. Be, um, Banana Republic. Sylvia says, no, I don't work for the post office. They're like black washed. And, and, and. Oh my God, Cha Cha, are you still in bed? And have some coffee? These are a tattered mess. Whether they came like this or whether they're supposed to be like this i know that they sell them like this these are hollister and they've got holes and rips all right matt we'll see you tomorrow honey all over them happy easter and we'll see you tomorrow honey thanks for hanging out matt's been with us all day and these are another pair of Hollister. And these are like army green. Army green color. So you've got a mix of, mix of men and women. And these are called, I have no idea what this name is, Alouette. Alouette Premium, size 28. Alouette. They look like they're nice. Nice quality. Alouette. Never heard of it. And the final pair is, I've never heard of these either, but they look like they're nice pants. Elicos. I'll show you the front. Elicos. All right. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pairs of pants, men and women's. Some nice brands. I enjoyed hanging out, Donatella and T, and always and good people bidding. Enjoy your evening. Peace out. Peace. Peace out, Don. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Come back tomorrow and have coffee with us in the morning. And Cindy's at 50. Sue Trickett's at 47. Pat is out. I smell something cooking.
Sue is out. So who is left? Donna and T, have a great night off. Thank you for staying on so long. Joy, thank you for staying on so long. So we have Cindy at 50. We'll sell it to Cindy for 50. Are you awake? I'm sorry. I'm here. Yeah, I'll be right there. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I didn't know you were on the phone. Um, okay. Cindy Raymond, $50. Anybody else? My daughter just handed me tacos. Oh my God, you guys are still on. Yes, Jules, we are. <laughs> going once to Cindy, going twice and three times with a fair warning. And we are sold, sold, sold to Cindy. Are you talking to Robin? You talking to Robin? You are? Okay. She's talking to Robin for $50 for the jeans. Okay. She's talking to Robin. Hopefully everything is okay. And... Thanks, you guys. I'm going to say goodbye. I smell something cooking. I don't know who came into the kitchen. Um, Cindy, thank you so much for all your purchases. Tammy, thank you for the heart. Sorry about that. That's okay. Cindy Raymond, lot 19. Yeah, maybe she just needed a break. All right, I'm going to let you in. Okay. She just waking up? No, uh, no, it wasn't her. I was on the phone with somebody else. I, I just don't know how to talk. I, oh, I've spoken okay. to her, though. I've spoken to her. She's 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 all right. She's fine. You spoke to her? Okay. All right. So, um, thanks, you guys. It's been an adventure, six hours and 34 minutes. We really appreciate everybody that purchased. Thank from you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. And um, we'll see you tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock for coffee. Nine for coffee. All right. Thanks, you guys. Have a great night. Stay safe. We love you. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.